What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're doing something absolutely crazy. We are opening up brand new RLC Hot Wheels cars. This is absolutely crazy. I paid for these all myself, and I'm not an RLC member, so I did pay the premium price. We bought them, we're gonna open them fully, and I'm not just gonna open them and just show you just on the little stand. We're actually going to unscrew them off completely, and we're gonna get a very, very good close-up look at each one of these cars. And the first one that we'll start with is the 2017 Ford Raptor RLC car. This is the brand new one with the camo on it. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one up. I'll grab my X-Acto knife. All of these cars are individually numbered as well, and I have no idea what the numbers are because, well, obviously I haven't opened them yet. So uh, if they're low serial numbers, they technically have a lot of value, but I really don't care about the value of them because you know what? We're just here to open them up and see what they look like. All right, so let's see the packaging on this one. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, so it's got some sort of like camo Hot Wheels on there, Ford Raptor, really nice feeling box on there. And on the top, we have the 2017 Ford Raptor with some nice logoing. And let's see what the number of this one is. This one is 9,350 of 25,000. All right, perfect, cool, cool, cool. You can see the two screws at the bottom right here, which we're gonna unscrew so we can take the car completely apart. But let's see our first unveiling of our first one. There it is, the Ford F-150 Raptor. And we're gonna go ahead and take it right out right here. So I believe I can just press these little side pieces out a little bit. There we go. And then that should just pop it right off. Come on, get out of here. There we go. We'll just we'll pull it out. There we go. All right, we've got it out. And there is the car itself. And the special feature of this one is, is it does have the little back thing that comes down right there. Isn't that cool? All right, so that little thing comes down. It snaps back up very, very nicely as well, which is really, really neat. But let's go ahead and unscrew it off of here. All right guys, we're back and that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I actually had to go grab a full size screwdriver because I stripped the screws in here, but we have got them unscrewed. We're gonna actually just completely unscrew them right now. And you can see how long the screws are in this one. Look at how long that is for, for the screws here. So we'll take that one out. We'll take this one out and there we go. Now we can, we got little pieces that held it up there. Now we've got the F-150 Raptor completely out and looking great. And we do have this little thing right here. I don't know, this little rubber piece right here, little elastic here. We'll take that completely out as well. There we go. We've got it completely removed. Hey, Peak Timers. So I'm just editing this video back and I realized I took off those little plastic pieces on the front of the F-150 Raptor. And I didn't realize at the time that the front hood of this F-150 Raptor opens up to show the engine on it, which is really, really cool. The engine's not like super detailed or anything. It's kind of just black, but it's still cool that the hood opens up on it. All right, back to the regular video. So we have a great looking RLC Raptor camo edition. And we got that matte little trunk piece right there that closes. You can see it says Ford on there and Raptor right there. Look at the camo. I absolutely love the camo. Look at this one. Looks fantastic. Real riders, of course, on here being an RLC car. All these cars will have real riders. Look at the detail on the front end as well. The sunroof on there. Just a great looking truck. The F-150 Raptors, it's probably my favorite truck right now. I really, really do like them. But there we go. Our first RLC car opened up. And our next one is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS. And this one should definitely be easier to open up right here because it's not in a box. And I don't know if this one is numbered. Oh, it is numbered. Here we go. We do have a number on the top right here. 21,682 of 30,000. All right, cool. Not like I really care though, but here we go. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. And yes, we're not just gonna open it just like this to show you guys. We're completely tearing open the package right here. We're gonna show you what it's all about. So uh, how do we go about this? There's not like any little thing that you go right here. I've never opened one of these before. I think you just peel the back right here. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, this must hurt a lot of you guys seeing me open up our RLC car, but a lot of you guys are like, they're meant to be open. So there we go. 
We've got it, We've got some packaging and stuff. We'll put that aside. And our 69 Camaro, this color is amazing. Wow, just look at that shining light. I know I've already fingerprinted it up there. Just look at that color, it looks so cool. Look at these wheels on here too. Absolutely amazing looking wheels. Very, very cool, rear riders of course. And then we do have the hood that opens up. We've got the detailed engine. Oh my gosh, look at that engine in there. Looks great. Look at the front end right here. I even like how they painted underneath right here. It almost reflects the engine on the inside. You can kind of see that cool. That's really, really neat. We'll go ahead around to the back end right there. Great stamping, temp work, all the proper correct tail lights and all that stuff on there as well. If we close it up, you can even see the striping just right on the side right there, like pin striping right here. But doesn't that look great? Just a fantastic looking Camaro. This is gonna be really cool. And all of these cars, I didn't say yet, but they're all gonna go on my back display right here. They're gonna replace a row of cars on my back display. So you'll be seeing them in future videos as well. But the 69 Camaro SS. And our next one is somewhat of a mystery. It's a pink Hot Wheels logo on here. And some of you might know what it is, Chevrolet. Impala, 64 Impala. This is not no regular Impala as well. This was the most expensive RLC car that I've ever purchased. Um, and it was well over $100 for me to buy. And it is a low rider 64 Impala. So let's go ahead and just open this up and we'll see what the number is of this one right here as well. And there we go, we open it up. Such a cool looking car, you guys are gonna love this. The working suspension on here. All right, so let's flip it over first and see what number this is. Uh, 7878, there we go. Repetitive numbers on there. Uh, again, not like I really care about that much about the numbering because I'm opening them up. So we got uh, little special edition collectors right there on the side and then some stuff right there. All right, let's go ahead and pop it on open right there. And then we'll take this little plastic piece off and then this right here is actually a little mirror that you can put the car on so it kind of looks really cool so we'll go ahead and put that down we'll put the car on there in a second here but there it is and look at this really really cool looking like or feeling velvet right here so it's proper velvet there's no actual screwed in piece or anything like that so it is kind of cool you can just take it right out there so we'll take it out and just check that one out okay very very cool but what's so special about it we flip it around right here and see these right here? The suspension pops up like the lowriders. Look at that. Is that not awesome? And then you can put it down just like that. And you can even have it like down like that if you want to. So you can have it here. I'll, I'll lift it up a little bit so you guys can see. But we can have it sit like that. And I believe you can even angle it as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can angle it. So there we go. So we can angle the front. And then we'll take the back right here. And here, we'll, we'll angle the back a, a different way here. Here we go, we'll angle it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our little mirror piece right here. And oh, there we go. So you can have it sit just like that. Is that not awesome? Like, I cannot believe that they made a car like this. Doesn't that look cool? Look at that suspension right there. And if you wanna drop it right to the ground, you just push it right down, then you've got the true low rider right there. Look at how low that goes. Awesome, awesome car. Let's have a look at the detail a little bit closer here. Look at the paint job on here. Just a very weighted, nice feeling to this one as well. And look at the, the nice Spectra Flame paint job on there. 64 Impala back end right there. On the side continues through the gold wheels on that one as well. We look at the front, the nice grill and the great looking paint job. We'll pull these out again so you guys can see it one last time. Like, look at how this the suspension, it just goes right up into there. Just such a great detail. Like, look at that. You can just twist them whichever way you want. Just absolutely amazing. Absolutely love this car. I know I'm saying the craziest words because I just think this is so cool. I, I just love how they did this one. And our next one is the Hot Wheels Thunder Roller. And when I first 
pick this one up. It just feels so heavy and weighted, which I really, really like. Number on this one is, what is it? 1,352 of 20,000. There it is, Thunder Roller on the back right there. So let's go ahead and open this one up completely here. This one's not boxed, it's just on a card. And we'll go ahead and we'll just rip it open just like we did the Camaro. We'll open it up this way right here and it should just pull completely right out. Rip that packaging off right there. And let's just pull it right out right now. Lots of different packaging. Wow, so heavy. I love it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a neat looking big rig right there? Look at that shiny, shiny detail. Look at the detail you have just even on the exhaust that comes up and this little piece that comes up right there from the front end. Look at that, look at the great paint job detail, artwork of all that good stuff. You can kind of see through even as well right on the inside. And then it's Hot Wheels trucking right on the side, HWC trucking. We even got this skew and, and number and all that good stuff right there. Year 2021, it is a 2021 release. Hot Wheels and the skew and stuff like that on there. Real Rider tires on there, six of them, of course. The wheels and axles, very, very nice. And on the back end right there, it's even got this little slot right here. I wonder if you could fit a trailer in. No, I guess there's not a full slot for you to fit any trailer on there. If we look at right here, oh, is this almost a defect on here? It looks like we even do have a slight paint defect right there, I would think. Yeah, I can feel it. It's like a little chip in the paint defect. Uh-oh, oh well, not like I really care that much. But anyways, very, very cool looking truck. I really, really do like this one. It's gonna be cool to have placed on our back right here as well. And our next one that we're opening up is a boxed up one. It is the Hot Wheels Datsun 240Z right here. You can see custom 72 Datsun 240Z. Very, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and does this one have any tab on it? No, this one you can just open up right away. There's no sticky piece on here. And let's grab that. We'll open that up right here. And did we see the number on it? What's the number on here? Here we go. We have 2,815 of 25,000. And let's go ahead. I really like the color of this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that just shining in the lights right there. Let's go ahead and pop it right open. I'll push these pieces out right there. And then it's got this little plastic piece on the inside, which we don't really care about. And there it is sitting right there. You can see it's got the engine right there sitting nicely with that little piece that opens and closes. So we'll close that down. And let's go ahead and take this completely right off right away. All right, there we go. We've got it completely unscrewed. The screw pieces and all that stuff are all falling out. We'll throw those all aside and let's get a nice look at the car completely off of its base right here. Look at the back detail, the exhaust, the lights that have come out right there. We even got this matte black finished lip spoiler on there. And then we've got like the matte black striping that comes down and across. And let's go ahead and grab that engine piece, open that completely up. Look at that. Look at how that opens. That is so cool. And look at the engine detail that we have on the inside right there. Very, very shiny nicely. And we can see the blacked out wheels right there. Very nice details in the wheels. I like the colored lip on them as well. It's kind of like a brushed metal lip color to it, which looks really neat. And we look in the bottom right here, you can see our base. We do have the real rider wheel tire combination on there. But if you're into the older JDMs and stuff, which a lot of you guys are, this is an excellent, excellent one to get your hands on. The Datsun 240Z RLC car. And the sixth car that we're opening up today is the 1970 Mustang Boss 302. This one's on a card, so it's gonna be easier to open. This one is included with some extra stuff right here, which we'll show you as well. So let's go ahead, get right to it, and we'll pop it right open. So this one does come with this patch. It's Hot Wheels RLC 21. It's a nice little patch. I guess it's got some sticky stuff on here. So you can uh, iron this onto a t-shirt or sweater or whatever you want to, which is pretty neat. I'll probably just put it on display here. And we'll grab the car out. And then there's also something in the front right here as well. We do have this little thing right here, which um, I can't remember what they actually call this. It's it's like a little, like a, almost looks like a bottle cap of some sort, but it's got the Mattel Hot Wheels 70 Mustang Boss 302 
on there and we can open it completely up if we want to. Uh, I'll just leave it for now. But uh, this one I'm gonna use, I'm a golfer, so I'm gonna use this as a golf ball marker. I think it's really cool to have a little golf ball marker that says Hot Wheels, Mattel Hot Wheels. That'd be cool. All right, we'll put that aside. There's our Mustang. Let's go ahead and open up our Mustang. Does it have a number on here? I don't think this one is numbered by any means. Don't see any number on here. Maybe I'm blind. Nope, uh, don't see a number. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. Completely ripping the packaging, <laughs> but that's okay. And we'll grab the car. Packaging's everywhere here. We're throwing packaging around, throwing packaging that way now. There we go. All right, there it is. Our 1970 Mustang Boss 302. Another interesting color. It's almost like a, like an, a tangerine chrome orange. Very, very neat looking. I love like the tires on here. They look like a very thick, wide body tire on there. I love the front on that one as well. And I don't believe anything opens on this one. There's nothing particularly special that it does or opens or anything like that. Um, this one is probably one of the cheaper ones that I bought of all of them, but I think it does look excellent. Look at the detail of those lights on the back right there. The lips, lip spoiler right there looks really good. The striping, it's a matte finish striping that just goes down the center right there. And you can see it from the side, the, the little, I think it's RLC that it says right there. So I would have thought it would said Boss or 302 or whatnot, but I think it does say RLC, which is really neat. And then our front end look, there's our Mustang logo right in the front center right there. Classic design of this Mustang. And look at that. Look at it from this view as I rub my fingerprints right off of it. But it's an, I like this color. I really, really do like this color. I think it's, it's almost a little bit subtle for an RLC car, but I like it. It looks mean, it looks aggressive. It'd be neat to see a Mustang in this color in real life. But there it is, our Boss 302 from 1970 Mustang. Next up, we've got our big boxed one. This one is the Jeep Hot Wheels Jeep Willys, 1944 Willys MB Jeep. And this one does have a full working suspension. Absolutely crazy. We're gonna open this one up. We're gonna take it fully out right here and have a look how this suspension works on this one here. This is quite an expensive one to get as well but we're doing it for you guys here. All right, so we've taken it out of the box and then we've got, oh, look at this, really nice packaging all around here as well. Does this one have any sort of number or anything? I don't see any number on this. Maybe the number is right on the box itself. So lots of packaging on this one right here. And we'll take that little piece out right there and we'll pull that out. There we go. And we've got Looks like more packaging. All right, we got the packaging on the inside. Oh, look at this backing right here. That's really cool. A nice little setting for the backing so it kind of wraps around right here. That's pretty neat. All right, we'll put, take that aside. Um, and let's see in the bottom first if there's a number on this one right here. And there is. So we've got uh, six, oh, 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 six, 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 nine. Interesting number for this one, 6669. All right, of 20,000. Let's go ahead and pop open from the bottom first right here, these little pieces, and then we can open it completely up right here. And let's see if we can pull it just right open now. I think I've almost got it, there we go. All right, so we got another back setting piece right there, which we'll put aside and a little piece that holds it together. But there's our car. So we've got it sitting right here on this nice like off-road base, as you can see. Very, very cool. And it's got the full working suspension. So the suspension will move up and down. But we're gonna take it completely off and we're gonna have a look at how that suspension looks. So we've got these little tabs on the back right here. And we'll grab these and we'll take these completely apart. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do to make this easier? I've got a little little scissors here. We'll just scissor these off. And we'll scissor these off right here. And then we've got the car that's just coming right apart. And we'll scissor it off as well. There we go, we've got all these little bits of elastic piece holding it all together just because it has a very delicate suspension. Even these ones right here, which is really, really tiny. We'll pull those off. And there we go. We've got it completely open right here. And let's have a look 
at that suspension right here. So if we look really closely, you can see right inside of the suspension, there is springs. There is springs on the inside. And so you can go completely like that. We've got the complete suspension on here, which is really cool. There you can see the springs a lot better from the front view right there. You can see how they go. And on the back, you can see the big springs right there as well. So neat, I cannot believe that. Also another thing about this car as well, we look in the front right here and we can see the window that will open and close for you right there. So really, really neat how they have that opening and closing. And of course the great paintwork and detail. We've got a little gas tank on the back right there. The seats, you can see how nicely detailed they are with the harnesses and all of that good stuff. We got a winch on the front end of it. Just an absolutely amazing detailed Jeep Willys. They put a lot of thought into this and this one's got some sort of crawl on the back right there. Don't know the significance of that. The wheels even look really cool. There's like those classic Craigar mags that they have right there. But the suspension, it's just so neat. I just love the suspension. I don't know if I'm gonna break it or not just by doing this. You can hear it like makes a noise when you do that. Just that those springs on there, but it's very, very cool. We'll grab the base again as well. And the base you can play around with if you want. Uh, we can have it go just right there if we want to, or we can have it even go just right down here if you want to play around with it or display it or whatnot. But just such a cool looking car. So cool with the suspension. Very, very happy with this one. And on to our next one. We've got two left, including this one right here. This one's got the big Hot Wheels logo on the front and we flip it. Di Tommaso Mangusta, 1971. Di Tommaso Mangusta with a very cool feature on the back right here. This one I can just pop right open and we'll push it right out. And then a nice looking display right here. We can see it. There we go, Di Tommaso Mangusta, Real Riders. And what's our number on this one right here? 5582, 5582 of 20,000, interesting. Let's go ahead and pop it open right here and look at the Magusta. Let's go ahead and just completely open it right away as well. And we'll unscrew it before we even show you the rest of it here. So let's go ahead and do that. And here it is. We can see it up close now. And the interesting thing about this car that it does, the interesting function, you can see on the back right here, we've got these things with open kind of like a butterfly door look at that it's like a gull wing it's like a mercedes-benz gull wing but check out that we've got the engines on the inside engine not engines <laughs> and we can look on this side as well and even if you look very very closely you can see there's a little ford logo on the inside because it does have a ford engine on the inside of these ones right here but look at that it's like kind of like a 70s supercar very very nice color to it it's almost similar to that mustang that we opened up let's grab that mustang similar maybe the Mustang color is a little bit darker right there but still nonetheless looks fantastic these wheels which are period correct for this car if we go ahead and close those up and then we can get a nice look at the profile of the car right there we look in the back you can see the windows or that are just exposing that nice beautiful Ford engine on the back right there the details on the back Mangusta it says on the license plate for this one right here and on the front end you can see the nice lights and all of that but Overall, it's a neat looking car and it's gonna be cool to display with that up. I think we'll have to display it with that up. Very, very cool looking. 1972 Dita Maso Mangusta. And our last Hot Wheels RLC car that we are going to completely open up for you today is Mercedes-Benz 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This is the Gullwing. That's right, the Gullwing Mercedes-Benz. I love this car. One of my favorite cars in real life. We'll go ahead and open it just right up right there. We can see the car coming out right there. Awesome. And oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This one right here. I have already opened up. You guys have seen it in a previous video. I have already opened it up, but I do actually have three of these in total. So I do have another one right here, which is brand new, which is sealed, which I've never opened. I have another one on my shelf as well. So we can see a couple of them right here, but I've already opened this one up in a previous video. So I thought I'm not gonna open up another one for you guys where I'll show you the one that I did previously open. So I have opened it. I just opened it up in a previous video. You guys have seen that, but here we have it. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. I love 
this car. It looks so cool, of course, because we've got the Gullwing doors on it that open and close. We can see, we'll shut those right there. And just look at that. One of the, probably one of the first supercars ever made in real life. This one right here became very popular. It was very fast in the 1950s. Of course, to today's standards, it's probably not that fast, but still, nonetheless, it's just a thing of beauty. And Hot Wheels did a great, great casting of it right here. And of course, because of the Gullwing doors that open up. Great looking interior on there as well. Nice details. And just look at the Gullwing. Just look at that. Look at it with it open. Does that not look amazing? They stay up properly as well. They don't get stuck. They don't flop down or anything like that. So you can display it very, very nicely. But you can see right here, just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking car, especially with those Gullwing doors. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. And there we have it guys, all 10 of our brand new Hot Wheels RLC cars that we opened up today. If you guys really appreciated this video, please hit that like button. It would mean a lot to me. This video cost me a lot to do for you guys, but I'm more than happy to share with you all these amazing Hot Wheels RLC cars. What's up Peak Timers? Let's go ahead and open up a bunch of new Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with the 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor. We have a brand new colorway of this one in green with some black highlights. Let's go ahead and open it up and get a nice close up look at it. Really, really nice green color on this one. I like how that Ford logo comes up in the back. We've got that black striping that comes up with the Hot Wheels logo just right there on the side of it. We've got the blacked out hood in gloss black. There's that classic Ford Raptor grille right there in the front. On the backs, we don't have much as far as headlights or, or sorry, real lights or anything like that. But nonetheless, it's actually pretty clean looking overall of a vehicle. Next up, we have the 67 Chevelle SS396. This one in yellow with Osleys on the side of it. Not sure exactly what that is. If you guys know in the comment section down below, let me know. But here we go. Look at that shiny yellow color. Yellow being my favorite color. You guys know it. And we've got gray wheels on this one. We've got the black stripe that comes down this center. Although it's not on the roof, which is a little bit weird. But still, nonetheless, in that front end, that looks pretty aggressive. It looks like we do have a little bit of an air on the painting right there. You can see the paint is a little bit missed on that one side of the stripe. Big front grille in chrome, which looks fantastic. And from the back, we've got that chrome rear as well. But overall, a nice looking old muscle car. Next up, we have the Mod Rod. This one in white with some colored flames on the side of it. And we got the orange windows on here. Very unique color for the Mod Rod. It did come out in more of a raw look. And now we're getting these different color variations, which I actually like this one. It's a nice white color. It's a little bit pearly. It's not like a pure white. And then on the top right there, we can see that big chrome engine on there. We got the blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. And then just check out the windows. We've got chrome on the inside of the interior, but then these windows with that tint looks really, really cool. But just a, an interesting new color for the Mod Rod. What do you guys think of the Mod Rod? Comment down below. A brand new casting for the 2021 Hot Wheels releases. We have the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Very, very cool, interesting, unique looking car. The Speedsters are becoming very popular. And this one looks really, really cool. If we look from the side, you can see the nice lines. And then when we look at the top, you can see a Speedster. It has no front window on it. And then it's got the two areas for the passengers. Really, really unique look to it. Very classic Aston Martin front grille, which is really, really good. I love the look of all the Aston Martins. And on the back, we have that continuation. Kind of looks like the uh, Vantage on the rear right there. But overall, it's an excellent looking design car. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Speedster look as far as that open look look though I think I would prefer just the regular window look but nonetheless they are very unique looking next up we have the Nash which is a crazy looking car and this one if you guys remember was one of the Hot Wheels show winners so this one we do got in a different color we'll go ahead and open it up and see some of the unique features on the Nash and if we look from the side you can see just how like these tires and wheels are oversized but when we actually look at them they are very skinny which is a very unique to this car and then on the front 
then we've got the big chrome engine and you can see there's little dice at the top right there of the chrome engine. You can see it right there. Very, very cool new color to this one here. We got the white out roof on there and on the back it looks like it's almost like an area for a tire but it doesn't actually have a tire right there. But just a very, very cool unique looking car and it's nice to see some new colors of this one come out. 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel new color release of this one this one in silver which i really like silver cars i think it shows the line of the cars very very nicely so we'll be able to get a good look at this one as you can see it right from the side right there it's got rebel written on the back these wheel tire combination looks really really good it really suits this vehicle and on the front end you can see it will say ram on there they've dropped the dodge nameplate they just call their trucks the rams now which is not too bad and you can see on the top right there we got a big open sunroof right there it looks like a short bed pickup truck we've got the ram logo just on the rear right there big fat wheel tire combination but overall it's a great great looking truck right here it's nice to see new colors of this one come out i believe we got this one originally in a red and then we got a blue and we've got this one here in a silverish gray color dodge challenger drift car hot wheels racing team livery on this one this one's actually been proven to be a pretty fast car down the peak time racing track and it's nice that we get some new colorways of this i love the hot wheels logos on the side of it the hot wheels racing team cars are really really cool it's a matte finish blue color as these ones are all and then we've got the nice striping on the front almost looks like the italian flag roughly up there but not really it's a little bit cool looking though to see that and then on the side you can see just how crazy those graphics look the gray wheels the bigger ones in the rear smaller ones in the front big spoiler on there as well not much detail as far as the rear end as far as lights or anything go but it is a clean looking car overall you can see the front not much for the headlights or anything like that but very very cool i really do like the side profile look of this car with that big hot wheels logo muscle and blowing we've got this one here in a new color variation and i like this car i think it's a nice looking fantasy car it's a new one that we have and this one in this color does look very very sporty it almost looks like like a viper crossed with some other sort of car i'm not too sure exactly but just look at the engine on there it's kind of like a titanium look colorway on here we got the number 53 the hot wheels logo on there and from that side profile it looks really cool different wheels tires from the front and the rear that is definitely a unique look to that and we got the big diffuser here nice painted tail lights as well and that little lip spoiler looks really really good but overall for a fantasy car i'm actually digging it i do like this one 2017 ford gt brand new colorway of this one let's go ahead and open this one up and get a nice look at it this is a then and now series car the previous variation the then car of this one is a ford gt and this one does have the livery which looks like the le mans winning car very very cool i really really like the livery on this one these white wheels look fantastic on it big fan of those ones right here and just look at the detail we got the painted front stamped headlights we've got the nice stripe that comes down the center the number four that we have right on the top of it as well and then you can see how that stripe continues right to the rear great great detail overall just an excellent excellent car we have seen this one in many many different recolors but i think this has probably got to be one of my favorite recolors of the ford gt 2017 acura nsx brand new colorway of this one nice flashy green color with the chrome wheels on there let's go ahead open it up and see what this one's all about check out the chrome on those wheels and that green just stands out so well there's your nice detailed front end on it non a newer nsx that they have just releasing they've reworked the front end on it which i think it looks better on the newer one but nonetheless this is still a very very cool looking car you can see from the back end we've got that mid engine right down there as well the black roof on this one which adds a nice touch to it but overall it's a great looking car it's nice to see these green recolors i think green on hot wheels looks really cool custom ford bronco this time in orange from a 
Sun and Now series. We saw the orange brand new Bronco. Now we've got this old classic custom Bronco. Check it out. Love the gray wheels on there as well. Just some great details with the roll cage on this one. We've got it in gray. And then I like that painting in the front right there. That looks really, really good. I love it. And it's got the little, I think it says, uh, I don't know exactly what it says. It says something right at the front right there. It's got some sort of coating on there. I'm not too sure exactly what that means. If you guys know, let me know in the comments section. There is the front push bar and headlights, but from the side, it's just a very, very cool looking car. We did see this one in blue released as well to match the newer Bronco as well. So it's cool that we've got like a double then and now series for this Ford Bronco. Next up, we have what Mattel Hot Wheels calls the Hot Bird. It is a Firebird. We do know that. I'm not sure why they exactly call it the Hot Bird, but we do have it from the Muscle Mania series. This is an excellent looking casting. I think they've done a fantastic job on this. I really dig in the color of this one as well. I think it really suits this car. And then we do have the T-top roof on there. Look at that. Open T-top roofs on there. Very, very cool looking. Front end looks excellent as well. We got the Firebird logo just right there on there. And then on the side, I love the striping that goes down the down right below it. And then we've got the little Firebird logo right there as well. That stripe that goes around the top and then your back end with that lip spoiler. I think just such a cool looking casting. The Hot Bird, which I call it is the Firebird, but still great to have this one in the Hot Wheels lineup. Custom small block, brand new recolor of this one right here. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. And this one, it does specify, does have some special features to it, which I will show you in a second. So very, very cool, very unique what this car can do right here. And there we have it right here. And I believe these come off. So it is you're traveling, I think the Mattel variation is called Mega Blocks, but it is technically like the Lego. So it's really cool that we have this. So if you guys want, you can grab some other Mega Blocks or Lego and you can fit them right on top of here and move them all around. But wow, it's just very, very cool and very unique to see this one come to the Hot Wheels lineup with that. Very cool looking wheels as well. But you guys gotta get yourself this car and play around with it. It is super nice. Custom 1970 Honda N600. A very, very tiny Hot Wheels car. But let's go ahead and see what this one's all about. We did see this one, I believe before it was in a different color, but I really like this color. This is becoming a very popular mainstream color. It's kind of like a mixture of blue, green, and gray, but I think it looks really cool. I love these little blacked out wheels on here. Great detail on this one right here. Chrome bumpers and chrome base on it right there. So we got the chrome front end. This one just all around, excellent, excellent details. I can see this one being a very popular collector car in the future, but go grab it right now, the 1970 Honda N600. Porsche 993 GT2 in white from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. Big fan of this one. We've seen lots of different recolors of this car, but I'm glad that they keep coming up with more because this casting they've done a fantastic job on. I love the wide body look of it. I love the look of these Porsches right here. Just the front end looks so cool. And I love that big rear spoiler on there. Would have liked to see a little bit more detail on the rear end. It's a little bit plain. Nothing's really painted. The front, we do have just the painted front lights right here but just from the side profile look, that top down view of this one, just a great looking Hot Wheels car. 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe, this one in black, some nice striping on it from the Muscle Mania series. Let's go ahead and have a look at this one. And I've never really been a huge fan of the coupe body style, I prefer the the fastback body style of these 1970s Mustangs, but the paint job that they've done on this one actually makes it look really cool. And you kind of forget about that it doesn't have that fast back look to it. Just look at the front top down view. It looks so good. The paint, they've done an excellent job in it. Not much details for that front end right there, but just with all the striping down the side of it, the wheels look good for this car. Big lip spoiler on here. The Hot Wheels logo just on the back of it. Very, very glossy black look to this one. It's a great looking car and I'm super excited to have this one in my collection. Indy 500. 
100 oval, brand new recolor of this one. We've seen lots of different recolors of the Indy 500 oval, and I really like it. I think it's a great car. It's a great casting to the Hot Wheels lineup. Check it out in this kind of, it's, it's a red, but it's almost like an orangey red color to it right here. And we've got, actually it's more, maybe more it's on the orange side. I don't know, you guys, comment down below. What do you guys think this more looks like here? Uh, we got the Hot Wheels logo on the side. We got the gray wheels on there. We've got that nice spoiler on the back of it right here. And then that blue base on the bottom. But just an overall, it's a great design car. And like I said, we've seen many recolors of this one, including one is a super treasure hunt back a few years ago as well. And I've had that one in my collection. So we'll be adding this one to all of the other Indy 500 ovals that I have. And our last car that we're opening up today, we have the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. And this one in a rescue livery. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see what this one looks like. Wow, this one looks really good. I'm a big fan of the Unimogs. I think they've done a great job to have them in the Hot Wheels lineup. We've seen all different types of like all terrain and police. And now we have the rescue variation of the Unimog. So it does say search and rescue. We've got the Hot Wheels logo right there. We've got some sort of rescue logo on there. It might be one of real life. I'm not too sure. And on the front, it does say rescue as well. You can see the extra spare tire wheels in the back end right there as, as far as all that. And then other gear right there to help with the people. Love the wheels too. They look great. What do you guys think of this Hot Wheels Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300? And there we have all of the cars that we opened up today. Guys, in the comment section down below, let me know which one of these cars was your favorite. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're opening up two brand new Hot Wheels 10 packs with exclusive Lamborghinis. And we'll start it off with this 10 pack, which has a bunch of really cool cars and that Lamborghini. Let's go ahead and open it. And starting off at the bottom, we have the 2013 Dodge Viper. This one in a really cool looking color. I love the gray wheels on there, staggered as well. We get the nice stripe that goes down the center and the classic coupe Viper design. Next up, we have the Ford GT40. This one, a very, very cool looking car. We've got the Gumball 3000 thousand riding on it as well so a very very classic color on this one one of the coolest cars from the 1960s obviously famous for winning Le Mans and becoming a classic Hot Wheels fantasy casting we have Street Creeper right here this one in blue with a lot of chrome on here check out all the chrome engine right there really cool looking wheel tire combination as well an all chrome and black base right there you can see the chrome on the front very, very nice overall. Indy 500 oval in one of the coolest colors I think I've ever seen of this. I really like the black with the yellow and blue trim on there. Does that not look awesome? I love how we've got the guy in yellow. We've got a few different pieces of yellow on there. And then we have that really cool blue base on there, which just blends in with the trim. And then check out the wheels on here blacked out wheels with a chrome blue lip on them. I really, really like this car. Corvette C8R, this is the gray variation with the blacked out wheels on there. We've got C8R written just on the side. Obviously the big spoiler and diffuser on there. Very, very cool looking colorway of this one. We first saw it released in yellow. Now it's got this gray color, which is an exact imitation of the one in real life. Corvette logo on the top to go. Shark Cruiser, this one, it's blue base and trim with the chrome and the black on the top and check out that logo link just right on there. That's very, very neat. Something interesting that we haven't seen before. And this engine is just massive with that chrome on there and that little tail on there as well. Volkswagen Beetle in a nice looking kind of uh, like a crazy looking yellow color. It's not like pure yellow, but it's almost got like a nice shine shimmer to it, which looks pretty neat. And I don't know about that, but does that look like is that an air or some sort on there? I don't know what that is. There's something kind of stuck in the window right there. Maybe a piece of the box could be an air. It does feel a little bit rubbery. So that's a little bit odd. I've never seen that before. We'll get another 
close up look at it. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comment section down below. If we look on the side though, we've got that nice color. We got good lighting on there, the nice stamping right there. Blacked out roof line on this one. Not too bad looking overall though. Jaguar XESV Project 8. This one, very, very dark. I love the look of this one. Blacked out windows on here. We even got an imitation of the carbon fiber roof on there. Check it out. Very glossy looking color, very shiny in the lights. Nice blacked out wheels, which look great on this as well. Then we got that big spoiler on the back of it and that nice diffuser. Jaguar looking good though. We've opened up many of these before and I know how much you guys love them. The Koenigsegg Jesco here in the pearl white color. And then we've got some nice highlighting on this. I really like the coloring right on here. The coloring that goes just right on that spoiler as well. It really outlines the car very, very nicely. The side of it to me is a little bit plain looking. Would have liked to see some color on there. Also, I think the wheels look slightly smaller than they would be in real life. But otherwise, overall, just a fantastic looking supercar, hypercar in real life. And our exclusive car of this 10 pack is the Lamborghini Aventador J. Check this one out in matte black. Such a stealth looking color. This looks like the Batmobile for sure. Really, really like it. We got the black dot wheels with the chrome lip on there. And we do have a little bit of a shiny stripe that goes down the front right there. It actually doesn't go down the back at all. It just stops right at that front hood right there. Or I guess it would be the front on a Lamborghini Aventador J. Nice logo on there, the lights. We look at the back, we got a great looking spoiler on there as well. Just an overall fantastic looking car and it looks great in this stealth black color. And here's our second 10 pack, also with an exclusive Lamborghini. Let's go ahead and open this. And first up, we've got a fantasy car. We've got the Monta Racer. This one, just a single seater race car. Really interesting looking graphics all over it. It's kind of just like, it's a very scattered looking car on the top right there. Not really sure what to say about that. It's not as clean looking of a vehicle as I would like to see, but there is Monta Racer. Dodge Rampage right here. And check this one out. We've got the three wheeler ATV in the back. It's period correct because I mean, those were really popular back in the early to mid eighties, but nonetheless, this car right here, I mean, it's just like a mini pickup truck car. It's a car that's a pickup truck. It's kind of like the newer style El Camino on here. It actually doesn't look too bad. I like the gloss black, the red on here, red interior on there, nice chrome wheels. And it's even got a little tow hitch on the back. 1970 Toyota Celica. Check out the color on here. Very tealish looking color. And it looks to have like a nice wide body look. Popular for drifting. It's even got that very popular drift front lip on there that you see kind of in some of those movies. And look at the back. Very, very wide stance on there. The lip spoiler on the back of it. Blacked out wheels. Overall, it's a fantastic looking designed car. Grupo X24, this is like a Hot Wheels variation of some sort of hypercar race car on there. Looks like it has center seat position for driving on there. Kind of ugly in the front, not a big fan of that. Although I do really like the back, I like this fin. It reminds me of the Mercedes AMG one right there. Huge diffuser on there, check that out, like the aerodynamics that it brings in. And then just check out the color on the bottom. It's like a matte copper finish, really interesting. I've never seen that on the bottom of a car. But overall, Grupo 24, for it looks pretty neat. Mad Splash we've got right now. And this one is a Hot Wheels Racing Team color. So it's got that matte blue finish on it. Chrome engine on the back and just check out the water that it's just going through. We've got the clear wheels and tires. This is essentially a boat that's on top of this water to splash through it. So these are supposed to be like invisible wheels and tire combination. Very interesting casting that they've made. I mean, I feel like you didn't really have to put the water down below. You could have just had the actual boat itself. I mean, we've seen airplanes on there but nonetheless very very interesting looking casting and I do like it Bugatti EB 110 SS in blue very very cool casting for a new for 2021 casting really really like this one we've got the Bugatti logo on the front check out the details for the front end of this one very very awesome looking early 90s supercar good stamping on the rear we got the race spoiler on there we've got the mid engine just in the back right there overall it's a fantastic looking design Looks like we do have a little slight air on there, maybe a little bit of a paint chip or something. We just peel that right off right now, but there we go, Bugatti. Cyber 
Super Speeder. It's supposed to be a futuristic race car, hyper car on this one right here. It's got kind of some sort of like weird windows that come out on the side, which you can't even see the front of the car. So maybe it's like a self driving car, probably electric. I like the colors of the tires on there. That's really cool. We don't really see that too often. Green base on this one. It's an overall weird designs car, but nonetheless, we've got it in a Hot Wheels format. Formula Flashback, and this is supposed to be a classic Formula One car right here, blacked out, really like the back of this one. I like that like classic looking Hot Wheels logo coloring on there with the stripe. Chrome for the inside, eight for maybe like an eight ball, looks kind of like an eight ball on there. Very, very cool. Blacked out wheels, nice colored lip on there, but it's a great looking like classic indie car. I really, really do like it. Or Formula One car, maybe we'll compare it to our Indy 500 oval right here as I drop it, but you can see kind of like the newer style race car compared to a, an older style race car. I mean, this is Indy, this is Formula One, but still very, very similar. I like them both. 1990 Acura NSX or Honda NSX, depending on which side of the world you're on, but this one with a lot of different striping and stuff on it, blacked out wheels with the chrome lip. We've got that nice like open airy top with the glass wind and all of that and the front end just check it out it's almost got like outlining around the edges of the car that looks really really neat we don't see that too often you can see how it can continues just down the side with lots of striping the outlining nice detail on the back and then we've got that nice raised spoiler on there but overall we've seen a lot of different recolors of this nsx and i think it's a good looking car and finally our second exclusive 10 pack car it's the lamborghini aventador j this time in a pearlish yellow color check it out and i'm just a big fan of the design of this car and i think when they release all the new colors of it i feel like this is my new favorite and then the next color comes out and i'm like that's my new favorite of that color i feel like so many good colors work on this car it's just such an exotic looking car and we'll actually grab our blacked out matte black finish one in our other exclusive 10 pack and you can just see how amazing both of these cars look especially in these very very different colors the matte black and our very out there yellow color on there. Which one of these is your favorite, guys? What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're gonna open up and get a close-up look at the brand new Hot Wheels Car Culture Modern Classic set. This set includes five different cars, including the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo, 1992 BMW M3, 1998 Honda Prelude, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6, and the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. And we'll start it off with the Nissan 300ZX, twin turbo this one in yellow with some nice gray wheels on there we've got some cool graphic card right there as you can see it on the road let's go ahead and open it up and get a nice close-up look at it now these being car culture cars they are premium cars so they're going to cost you anywhere from five to six dollars at a retail price and they are the real riders on there they're full metal base so super super high quality so let's take a look at the bottom right there you can see the real riders on there you can see that nice matte finish metal base and if we look at the car itself look at that absolutely gorgeous i'm really really like the 300 zx's when they came out uh, back in the early 90s you can see great looking uh temple work for the lights and all that we got the plate right down there we've got the t roof the t tops on there as well and we do have the headlights right there and these are kind of unique uh, headlights because these headlights were actually used on a lamborghini uh later on as well uh you can see even the front you can see the uh riding just right out the front right there so super super highly detailed on this one looks absolutely fantastic love the wheel look on here as well what do you guys think of this 300 zx twin turbo and car number two of five we've got the 1992 bmw m3 this one you can see that one on the road right there with those cool graphics let's go ahead and pop it open and get that close up look at this one right here and this one i'd like to say this is a black but it's almost like a dark British racing green, maybe, possibly. I don't know, it's hard to tell exactly in my lighting here. Uh, you can see the uh, nice mesh wheels on there as well. Check out the detail on the back end of that one. Looks absolutely fantastic. We've got the BMW logo, the M3 logo right there, the, the license plate right there with the detail on it. I feel like these uh, premium cars are getting more and more detailed as the years go on. You can see just that front grille right there with the lights right there. Just looks absolutely fantastic. Very clean looking car from the top right there as well. A nice little spoiler on it. Look at that look from the side. 
great looking car. And car number three of five is the 1998 Honda Prelude. This one in silver, kind of the classic color for this Honda Prelude when it first came out. Let's go ahead and get a close look at this one right here as we open it up. I really like the wheels on this one. They're really, really cool looking. We've seen these wheels before on the Nissan GTR, and now we do have them on the Prelude, but great looking in this silver color. We've got a big sunroof on the top of it. Just a super, super clean look overall, just from the top and just that side angle right there just looks really, really clean. If you look at the front end right there, you can see the headlights on there. They are, I think they are painted down there as well. Uh, the front, we got the little fog lights as well. If we go around to the back end, you can see we've got the Honda uh, logo just right up in the center of the trunk. And then we've got the Prelude written just right on the bumper right there. We do have the uh, rear temple lights as well and the license plate, and just a little exhaust on the bottom right there. Just from this side angle, you can see the little gas cap cover right there. We got that little nub of the antenna on the top right there as well. Nice little touch, but overall, I think it's a great looking car. And I always say silver cars, they kind of look the best as far as looking at the details of them. You can see all the lines of a silver car looks great. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6, and this one in a nice cool looking blue color with the white wheels on there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and we can get a nice close up look at this one. If you're a Mitsubishi fan, there's always lots of cool Lancer Evolutions that Hot Wheels releases, and this being a very, very good one for a premium set. I love the white wheels. I've always been a big fan of blue with the white wheels. I think it looks really cool. And we do have a nice clean top line. Even looks like we've got it like almost highlighted, like pin highlighted on the top. That's a cool touch. I haven't seen that before ever, but it kind of really outlines the top of the car right there. If we look at the front end, you can see that cool like intake right there. That's super, super nice. And then check out the front look at that great looking for the front lights and the tempos and all that good stuff right there. From the uh, side, we'll move around to the back and you can see the rear light tempos as well, the rear license plate, the little Mitsubishi uh, evolution sign right there. Big spoiler, that wing spoiler on there looks fantastic. But overall, just a great looking design for this Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Another Mitsubishi, we've got the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. This one in red with the gray wheels on there. And I'm not too sure if we've actually seen this one in Hot Wheels before. I can't remember if we have the uh, 3000 GT. We may have. Uh, comment down below if you guys remember the, the previous variation if it did come out. Uh, but here it is in red look at that so uh, if you guys know the Dodge Stealth they're kind of like the brother car to the Dodge Stealth right here so we do have from the rear end those rear light tampos on there that license plate on there that little spoiler on their cool looking side it almost reminds me of for Ferrari right here the little slots it's kind of in that era of when Ferrari had the slots on the side right there and we look from the front end it does have pop-up headlights in real life so you don't see the actual headlights themselves but we do have the big fog lights on there and then we have these like kind of like intake things right here on the hood as well, which looks really, really neat. But I think it from the side, it's just a, a cool looking car, just an overall great designed car. Super nice to see these ones come out in a Hot Wheels formation. In the comment section down below, let me know which one you like the best. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up some 2022 new Hot Wheels and this Hot Wheels mystery car. I found a bunch of 2022 Hot Wheels in store. There's a few 2021s mixed in, but let's go ahead and start with this Chevy Silverado off-road in this nice looking yellow color wide body. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about. You can see this shiny yellow color on this one. Really, really like that. I like the black right there on the front with that white trim on the outside. Looks kind of neat. It's kind of a different touch to the tampa work on the out right there. We have a nice push bar on the front end of it. Big wide body, like raised up lifted truck with those tires just sticking out right there. So classic American pickup truck. Next up, we have a brand new recolor of the 2019 Mercedes. Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Check out this blue color with the white wheels on this. I really, really like it. Let's go ahead and get a close up look at this. Just look at that great looking paint job on this. These white wheels look fantastic. We've seen these ones. Uh, they've been pretty popular in the 2021 set. Now we're getting some carrying over to 2022, but nonetheless, they look fantastic. Great looking tampa work on the back end of this one. And on the front, we do have that nice stripe that comes down the hood. And then just check out 
out the detail on the front end of this Mercedes. Great look to that front end, very classic Mercedes Benz. But overall, a very, very cool, I really, really like this recolor of this Mercedes Benz A-Class. Range Rover Classic, this is actually a 2021 release. It came in the last case of 2021. I never got the last case of 2021, so I'm happy to pick this car up in store. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what this one looks like. Wow, great looking red color. This is a new model in 2021. So this is the first time we've seen this casting. Check out that black front grille and Castrol with the blacked out hood on that one. Cool looking tap work on the side. This is supposedly like an, an off-road racing variation of this Land Rover, but very, very cool. I do like it. Like all the stamping and stuff like that that's on there that looks really, really neat. On the back end does have that Range Rover on there. And we even have an RR Classic on the plate right there. Check that out. That's a very neat touch to this car. But overall, I'm digging this one. This is nice. Mighty K, a brand new casting for 2022 from the Hot Wheels Metro series. And this is like a Japanese pickup truck as far as I know. It kind of looks like one of those mini transporter pickup trucks. It's called the Mighty K. I don't know the history about that, about these. So if you know anything about these, let me know in the comment section down below, but I really do think this one, they've done a great job on it. It's proportionate, it's very nice and small. Kind of ugly in the front headlights and stuff though. I mean, not a huge fan of this. I mean, I prefer the big old American pickups than this little thing, but these ones are quite popular work trucks within Japan. Actually, if we look at the back, look at that. That's a cool touch. We have a skateboard in the back. That's pretty neat. I'm not too sure about that. We do have a little tire right there. And then we've got the Asada on the back, it says. So I'm not too sure what that means. A little Hot Wheels logo on there. Nice stamping temple work. Very, very tiny wheel tire combination of this one. 2020 Toyota GR Supra. We got it recolored in yellow. We saw the white variation released. Previously, we've gotten a couple of premium ones. We actually have a premium one just right back there on my wall, right there. But other than that, let's go ahead and open up the new yellow color right apart from right there. And there it is. Look at this yellow color. You guys know yellow is my favorite color. So absolutely love this one. Kind of disappointed there's no tempo work on the back end. It's a little bit plain there, but they have saved it for the side. So we've got kind of all the sponsored graphics there. We've got a nice pinstripe that goes right down there. The front end, look at the detail for those front headlights. Doesn't that look amazing? Very, very good. We got the Toyota logo just right there on the front end. But overall, it's a fantastic design for this Toyota GR. Supra. Next, we have the Indy 500 Oval. This one in a cool looking color. I love the base on this too. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We've seen many different recolors of the Indy 500 Oval. And here is another one to add to the collection. Gray wheels on there. Nice cool looking blue base on it as well. The Hot Wheels logo right there on the side. That little flag right there on the back wing. And you can see it from the top. Just a very, very classic design Hot Wheels car. Like I said, we've gotten many, many different recolors including a super treasure hunt that we got. I believe it was 2018 we had the super treasure hunt for this one, but overall, I've always really liked the Indy 500 Oval. Next up, another brand new casting for 2022. It's the tuned out Volkswagen Golf MK1. Check that one out. Oh my gosh, what a funny looking car. Let's go ahead and pop it open right here. Get a nice close up look. Just from the front end, I think this thing is just funny looking. Just look at that, the tuned out variation of this car. It's, this has got to be one of the most funny looking tuned out cars that I have seen from Hot Wheels in a long time. You can see how it's got that big exhaust that comes out the back right there from the side. Just look at that. The squished in body and then kind of raised up number 66 Hot Wheels logo VW on the back end. Just overall, like I said, one of the funniest cars that I've seen Hot Wheels release in a long time. Pagani Waira released in this crazy new copper gold color right here. Gold wheels. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. A nice looking recolor to this one right here. Look at the black on there, just on the side. Look at the gold wheels on there, very, very shiny. And that color, wow, that is a crazy look of this new car here. And you can see the black striping in the front and the lights that are just right in there. We've seen many different recolors of the Pagani Waira, but it's a good looking designed car. I'm more of a fan of the Waira Roadster 
but this one overall looks great. What do you guys think of this Pagani Waira? Mazda REPU pickup truck in orange, brand new color release of this one. It's been a while actually since we've seen this one. I think it's been a year or two and we finally get a nice new recolor of this one. Great looking tamp work on this. Let's go ahead and open it up so you guys can see this one up close right here. But there is that orange from the side. We got the Mazda on the back Hot Wheels logo. And then we'll look at the back rotary power written on the back. That's really, really cool. I like the touch to that one right here. Same logos on the side for this side right here. Nice black pinstriping that goes down there. These wheels, they kind of fit this era of car, so not too bad. And then the front end, great looking front end. I like the detail right there with those lights, the logo in the center. Just an overall very, very nice new recolor to this. I feel like they've added a good touch of detail to this one to make it look better. 2017 Ford GT, brand new recolor from the Then and Now series. I believe this is actually a 2021 release. It's the Now's variation between the Ford line, but very, very cool. Like to see this one on the pegs right now. Let's go ahead and pop it open to get a nice look at this Ford GT. Just look at the striping, the white wheels on here. This looks absolutely great. I love it, love it, love it. Love that striping that goes down the center. The number four, very classic number four color. The history of the Ford GT40 right there with that number four. We do have great looking tempo work for those front headlights on the side. And I just love the side look of this car. I think it looks amazing. And we look at the back right there. Not much as far as any stamping or tempo work right there. It's kind of saved for that striping that goes down the center. And then that front headlight look of this one. 1976 Greenwood Corvette. This one in a nice metallic looking color to it. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about. And check that one out. It's almost like a dark blue color to this one. You can see the metallic flakes and the paint right there. Nice cool stripe that goes down the center, the number 22 right there. The Greenwood Corvettes, they're like a Corvette C3 Stingray, but with a nice wide body look to it. So you can see that wide body to it. I've always been a big fan of this era of Corvettes. And you can see the back end, that's your regular Corvette. And then you have the wide body that you can see that just sticks out. Crazy, crazy look to this Corvette. We've seen uh, this casting several times before, lots of different recolors of it, but I really, really like it. Bad Bagger from the Hot Wheels Flame Series. Check out this motorbike. Oh my gosh, look at the flames down the sides of this. Let's go ahead and see it up close, what it's all about right here. And you can just see it's a very heavy bike actually. So it's a lot heavier than I thought because it is all metal on the inside, all metal right here. So no plastic besides just the wheels on here and just this little piece right there. A very, very nice designed motorbike bike right here you can see from the front end you can see that wheel that's right there and you can see just on the back just look at the paint job the seat and from the top right there overall looks great if you like this style of motorbike these like kind of classic rod harley davidson style motorbikes then this is definitely a cool one to collect let's go ahead and see if it stands up we'll put it right here uh, it kind of stands up. It's got a little bit of a lip right here on the side, so it does kind of sit just over, but not too bad. Not too bad. What do you guys think of this new motorbike? Porsche 935. Check this one out. I love the look of this color right here. 70 on the side of it. Very classic style wheels on here. Let's go ahead and pop it open so we can see it. Cool looking stripes that it has. Check out how the stripes just come around right here and then they kind of continue like right about there. So very, very cool. We got a little Hot Wheels logo just right on the back. I love the front end of this one. It's kind of like new and retro at the same time. Very, very cool looking. Really, really like that. Cool looking spoiler on the back here and even got that little escape door if there's a fire very nice looking race car style Porsche 935 67 Chevelle SS 396 from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics go ahead and pop this one open and this is kind of like a brighter yellow color not like a pure yellow like the Toyota Supra that we did see this one has some sort of thing written on the side right here Osley's written on the side of it. Not too sure exactly what that means. Nice gray wheels tire combination on here. Bigger ones on the rear, smaller ones on the front, just like a lot of these muscle cars did have. It's got some writing on the back right there. Can't really tell exactly what that says, 
but overall love that chrome grille on there the black stripes that go right down the front they skip the roof and then they continue just down the back i like that touch to it right there then we got the chrome on the back but a nice looking muscle car nissan skyline 2000 gtr and this one is a then and now series so perhaps we will get a now variation for this set right here but let's go ahead and have a look at this i really like the color of this one it's a really cool looking gray color to it blacked out wheels on here the black on the bottom right there skyline it says right there on the back that nice little lip spoiler it's a very very clean design with this color just look at the top i love how it's got like that metallic paint with that gloss that's just right over top of it so it really shines in my lights as you can see we got the chrome little bumper on the front and that's like a little lip style bumper on there very nice for these jdm designs cars good detail for those lights on the back as well very very nice to see that but overall what do you guys think of this nissan skyline 2000 gtr custom 1970 honda n600 this really tiny car we've seen this one before and we're getting lots of recolors of it now and this new color that you see right here it's very very trendy right now we're seeing this color on a lot of newer cars in real life and now it's come into hot wheels it's kind of like a grayish blue color i really do like this color it's nice to see on some cars but there it is in this honda n600 very very tiny of a car i mean we'll let's grab the supra right here and we can see how much longer the supra is and this one for 1 to 64 it's like probably two-thirds the size of the toyota supra but overall i think it's a really cool looking little car it's kind of cool to collect i'm not a big fan of like these older style cars but this one because it's so tiny i like to have this one and last we have our hot wheels mystery models car and this one is i believe a 2021 mystery models 3 set and i think I think I know what this car is, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna go ahead and open up and see what it is and see how cool this looks. We'll go ahead and pop that open and we'll just remove it just right there. And there it is, it's the DeLorean. I thought it was gonna be the DeLorean. So here we have Space Radar written on the side. I mean, if, if you know DeLoreans, that's pretty correct to have that. Just check out all the graphics and tempo work on this one on the top. That looks so crazy. It's totally back to the future-ish, isn't it, right? And on the back end, you can see it's got kind of like a cool looking see-through window, but it's like you can't quite see all the way through. It's really, really nice and correct to do that right there. Blacked out wheels with the gold lip on it. Wow, very, very cool to have this Mystery Models car. We'll actually go ahead and see what other stuff we have for this set right here. I like that Hot Wheels sticker right there. Look at the Hot Wheels sticker matches the DeLorean. Check that out, that is so cool. And on this Mystery Models set, we'll actually open this one up and I'll show you some of the premium cars and all the cars included on here. So the DeLorean is car number one from the set. I was trying to find the Nissan Skyline RS, but I could not find that one. Then there's a couple of fantasy cars and stuff like that that I didn't really want to get, but I'm happy to have the DMC DeLorean. And there it is. And there are all of the cars that we opened up today. In the comment section down below, let me know which one was your favorite. This Hot Wheels car, I paid $60 for, it is now worth nearly $200. And we're gonna open it up and see what it's all about. It's brand new in packaging. This is the Lamborghini Countach LP500S from the RLC Special Collection. And it is the red one, which is the one that I think looks the best. I think it's the more rare one right here. We'll open it up right there. You can see a little picture of it on this little display. And we're just gonna completely take this off of its little standing case right here. We're gonna play with the doors. We're gonna see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and do that right away. I've got my little screwdriver right here so we can unscrew it. We're just gonna take this top piece off first and you can see one of the doors already closed. We're gonna close that door right now. We're just gonna unscrew this and we're gonna take a nice close up look at this car. This car is numbered as well. It's 3124 of 12,500 made, but I don't really care. Let's open it up. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about.
And as you can see by the video, it is quite difficult to get this car off, but we did get it and here it is. And first thing I notice, I love the weight of this car. It feels nice and heavy. It feels like really, really good quality. All right, let's go ahead and see these doors and how these doors work. So they've got the proper Lamborghini scissor doors from the Lamborghini Countach. Look at that. Does that not look awesome right there? So the doors do come up. They do stay up right now nicely, so they don't actually wave down or anything. So they're actually quite strong. The hinges are quite strong on them. And then when they do close, right there and right there, they close nice and perfectly. I mean, they are, I mean, once it's down, you can see how the door right here, it does kind of come out a little bit right here. So it's maybe not the strongest of hinge, this one. The sides, no, that's about, yeah, they're about the same. So they're not the strongest of hinges, but I mean, you got to think of this scale of car, very, very tiny to get the proper Lamborghini scissor doors like that. Wow, like just look at that. This has got to be, in my opinion, one of the best looking Hot Wheels cars ever made. And not only that, I mean, you just look at how well designed this car is as well. Like the proportions of it and everything are absolutely perfect. The paint job on here, that Spectra Flame red paint job looks fantastic. The details from the back end right there, that spoiler on there, just an amazing, amazing looking car right here. As you can see, you look at that front end as well. One other car that I do wanna pick up and grab, I've got behind me right here, is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL with the gullwing doors. These are both RLC cars and these have to be the two best looking RLC cars ever released, ever made. I absolutely love them. You see the gullwing doors. We'll close those, we'll close those scissor doors so we can see them looking closed right there. But just two fantastic, fantastic looking cars. If you're looking to buy them, you can actually buy the 300SL right now for fairly cheap. It's going, I think, still less than $100. And in my opinion, to get this car less than $100, this is gonna be a very valuable car in the future. And if you wanna get this one with the scissor doors, you are gonna pay anywhere from about 150 to 200 for a brand new in box one. And this one, yes, I've opened it up. I'm never gonna sell it. I'm gonna keep it in my collection. I just love it with those doors and I'll probably display it up with my other RLC cars with those doors opened up, guys. But if you like this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this Lamborghini Countach with those scissor doors. What's up, Peak Timers? Let's go ahead and open up 10 brand new Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with this 1968 Chevy Nova. It's got some crazy paint job on it let's go ahead open this up and get a close-up look at what it looks like and check out the camo look on this one is that not crazy just look at the paint job on the top right there even from the front end right there you can see it's got that really cool like louvers on the front end we got the chrome grill on the front of this and then from the side look you can see just how cool like that shark bite type thing is right there we got the Hot Wheels logo on the back blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there and and then there's that chrome on the back and chrome on the base as well. Next up, we have the bone shaker. And this bone shaker, as you can see, is yellow with the moon eyes on it. An interesting look to this one. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a nice close up look and check out the yellow on this one. Does that not look awesome? We got the moon eyes right there. We got a really cool big rear wheel, smaller one in the front. And then we got the big chrome engine on there, the chrome on the interior on this one, check that one out. And then on the back, you can see more chrome on there, black base on this one all around, but a pretty clean looking bone shaker. Next up, we have the Nissan Silvia S13. Check this one out in red with the white wheels on here. Very clean look to this one. Let's go ahead and see what it's all about. You can see that red color looks fantastic. The white wheels look really, really cool. They really suit the look of this car. Very clean pop-up headlights from the front 
end right there and on the side you can just see that nice look to this one little lip spoiler on the back of it as you can see right there and then we do have nice tampa work on the rear with the nissan riding on the back of it black base on this one but all around a great looking clean nissan 2017 ford f-150 raptor this one in silver check it out great looking car i love the ford raptors in real life and i love the ones that they come in hot wheels format we've seen lots of different color variations of this one you can see this one a very clean looking silver color we've got the black kind of striping on the side with raptor written on there i love the way silver cars look you can see all the lines of them really really well and you can see it on this raptor we get the ford logo on the front end right there big wide tires on this one kind of raised up as you can see right there like nice cool look on there sunroof on the top of it but this one is it's kind of like that like half back it doesn't have the full four doors it has the one that kind of flips open i prefer the one that's the four doors like the full doors that one would be pretty cool but nonetheless this raptor still looks good mclaren senna forza horizon 4 edition this one in orange and you guys know how much i love mclarens in real life and the senna is definitely one of the coolest on-road track cars in real life you can see this one in that mclaren orange color very fitting for this one big rear wing on there and then the front lights this was before they kind of retooled the front where the front would look a little bit better with the lights and stuff like that but nonetheless still looks good and we do have on the side we have that kind of like see-through window just right down there got the gray wheels on this one right there big diffuser on the back of it and there's that front end look of it as well it's not the cleanest looking car but still it's a really really cool mclaren senna mercedes-benz 500e this one in silver let's go ahead and pop this one open get a nice look at it right here and there it is look at this one right here such a good classic look mercedes-benz these wheels i mean they are fitting for the time not my favorite though they're a little bit kind of ugly per se on the back we have great looking rear light tempo work on there it looks fantastic and on the front end right there you can see how that looks look at that great front grill and all that of this mercedes benz and clean on the top nothing that we can see right there no center for anything like that just some great lines for this mercedes benz 500e nissan r390 gt1 you can see this one right here in this great looking blue color for it factory fresh and let's go ahead and pop this one open right here and there it is check out the line on this one you can see how it kind of slopes down just on the back for aerodynamics we got uh, a nice kind of rear end right there it's kind of got the lights that remind me of a corvette we got a lip spoiler on here this one was uh, like a mid 90s or early 90s supercar race car but nonetheless i think it looks really good in this color and it's cool design corvette c7 z06 convertible k and n filter edition check this one out let's go ahead and pop it open Get a nice close up look at it right here. And th this one is in black and it's got some cool Canon colored striping on there. Plus the Canon logo just right there on the front end as you can see. And just check it out from the front. Doesn't that look neat? And from the side end you can see we've got that different colored wheel tire combination on this one right here. Big rear lip spoiler on that as you can see right there from the front end. Very classic Corvette look. We've got that supercharger exposed showing off in the front end right there of this one but a fantastic looking Corvette all around 1970 Volkswagen Baja bug this one is a tuned out edition just check out this one so funny looking I really like this car when it came out I think it looks interesting I like how they did this kind of squished look on the bug I mean the Volkswagen bug is so small already then they give it this like squished out look on there I think it's awesome I love it love the big reels on the back you can see and the smaller ones in the front this is Baja Blazer so it is mudded out so you can see it's got that mudded tire look on there we got that big rear exhaust on here the 70 on there as well but it just uh, it's a really funny looking hot wheels car 
Toyota Land Cruiser, this one in blue. This is like a pickup version. We can see that big pickup bed in the back. Let's go ahead, pop it open, see what it is all about. Check it out in this great looking blue color. We've got gray wheels, black tires on here. And there's that white top on there. Very classic for these Land Rovers. Very heavy gloss white on the top right there. Nice Toyota on the front. You can see right there, it says Toyota right there, kind of written, that's really cool. And on the back end, you can see the Toyota written big right there on the back as well. So very fitting for this one, but all around great looking car. Love it in this blue, very nice looking. Right, guys, in the comment section down below, let me know which car was your favorite that we opened up today. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're gonna open up and take a close up look at the Hot Wheels Nightburner set. There's a total of five cars in this set, including the 2008 Ford Focus, Nissan Skyline 2000 Turbo RS, Volkswagen Golf MK2, 1998 Honda CRX, and Scion FRS. Let's go ahead and open them. And the first car we're opening up today is the 2008. Ford Focus. This one in a crazy looking color with really nice tampos on the side of it. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a close up look at it. This is just a mainline set. They're not premium real riders, but it still looks really, really good. You can see those blacked out wheels on there. It looks like we got almost some sort of air on here. Maybe it's just a little bit of packaging right included there. On the back, not much as far as stamping or tempo work or anything goes like that. Nice spoiler on the back, but just check out the top. Great looking detail and stuff on the top right there. I like the white wall tires or the white lip on those tires and wheels combination. That looks really good. The 08 on the side of it as well for the year. Little Ford logo and the Hot Wheels logo. And if we look on the front end right there, we can see that nice looking intercooler at the front right there and that Ford Focus look. And then we got the sunroof on the top of this one as well. And car number two of five is the Nissan Skyline 2000 Turbo RS. KDR30 in white. We can see the 83 on the side of it, which I would assume would be the year that this is from. I think it is. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see the color of this one. Great looking white color of it. Kind of a nice pure white, very clean looking. That 83 just really, really showing right there on the side. And we've got the little RS Turbo. They got these nice chrome mesh wheels on this one as well, which actually fits this car very suiting. And on the front end, pretty clean, pretty plain, nothing special. We do have that front lip on here, which looks really good. On the back, we do have the lip spoiler, and then we got some nice tampa work on the back for those rear lights. That looks really, really good. Really impressed with that. But overall, it's a very clean looking Nissan Skyline. I really do like this one in the set. And car number three of five from this set is the Volkswagen Golf MK2. This one in green. Let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. And going with the trend, this is definitely not a 2022 vehicle. Doesn't specify the year of it, but I'm assuming it's probably an early 90s, maybe late 80s Volkswagen Golf. Got the mesh wheels on here, the nice green color. And look at the side with that kind of stripe that just goes right here with the Hot Wheels, Castrol, Sparco, all the different sponsors on the side of it, which is really neat. And then we do have some nice writing on the front hood right there. Kind of looks like the German colors. So very fitting being a German car. And we can see on the side, all of those tempo work continue. On the back, we don't have any tempo works for the lights or the plate or anything like that. And on the front end, it's just a plastic front grill. So not much detail on that one. But overall, it's a decent looking Volkswagen. And car number four of five is the 1988 Honda CRX. And this one, I think it's my favorite of this set. It's a very, very clean looking car. Really like the color of it. Totally blacked out. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. You can see just blacked out wheels, blacked out everything right there. Um, we even got on the inside, it looks like a nice black interior. On the front and right here on that front, we can see it's got some writing just up in the window right there, which is really cool. And look at the detail for those front headlights we got the honda logo right there really looks good and from the side you can just see how nice and clean that looks we got the lip spoiler and then great detail on the rear end as well so you can see that uh, because there's no writing or anything on the side of it we do have stamp 
tampa work on the rear as well as the front which is really cool i like the detail for that almost dropped it but we caught it there is our honda crx in that gloss black color and car number five of five is our scion frs and check that one out very out there color on this one right here we got the 86 on the side of it kind of like the ae86 that's kind of a throwback right there well, let's go ahead and pop this one open and check it out wow that looks pretty cool i really like the design of this car right here great looking tempo work on the front i love how that kind of has like these slots that come in it looks like fang teeth on the front of it really really neat gray wheels on this one right here clean all on the top no stamping or tempo work or anything like that just got that side tempo work nothing on the rear as far as stamping or anything goes but the cuts on this car are very very nice got that lip spoiler on there and the dual exhaust but overall this one is still a great looking car and there we have all five cars that we opened up today guys in the comment section down below let me know which one was your our favorite what's up peak timers phil here from peak time racing today we're gonna open up and review the hot wheels premium car culture slide street set this set has five different cars including the nissan sylvia s14 2020 toyota gr supra toyota ae86 sprinter truno pandem subaru brz and 2020 mustang rtr spec 5 and we'll start it off with our first one the nissan sylvia s14 and you can see the graphics included on here it's got the f D for Formula Drift. Very, very popular right now. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a nice close-up look at it. We do have a little bit of plastic here to protect it. And we'll pull out our Sylvia S14. Look at the graphics on here. Kind of reminds me of like the Supreme look, the Supreme colors and all that, if you're familiar with that. Formula Drift on the back, you can see great detail for this car in the rear end for the lights and the stamping cool spoiler on there that's painted on the top the fd right there on the top as well we got the hot wheels logo and fd written on the front hood and then look at the details for the front end as well just an excellent excellent detail car really really like these graphics on here on the side the fd looks so so cool we got the blacked out wheels and tire combination and those are slicks on there for drifting and car number two of five we have the 2020 toyota gr supra with the grady look on it and this one has been such a popular car as of late and i'm a really big fan of the new supras let's go ahead and have a look at this one right here we got that little plastic piece right there put that aside and check out i just really like the wheels on this one i think they look fantastic crazy wide body on here you can see the front end look of it great detail for this supra the big spoiler on the back end right there and what does that say right there it says pandem on there so it is a pandem wide body kit on this Supra as well. Toyota written on the back right there. And just look at the wheel tire combination from here on the side and the front end just looks excellent. And just look at that look on the back end as well. If we look on the bottom, we can see they are the real routers with the slicks as well. Just a great car. This is probably one of my favorites from this set. And car number three of five, we have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno right here. A very popular kind of classic drift car. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and see we've got three white cars our last two are not white so that's going to be a little bit of a change but there we go we can see this one has looks like a very lowered suspension look at the small wheel tire combination on there this is what the original drift cars were we got the cool white on the front end we got the pop-up headlights as well really cool looking front end on there check that out got the little black paint right there nice gloss white color and then on the back we've got some color that kind of blends right into that white and on the back end, you can see TRD on there. Great stamping for the temp work. A little bit of graphics and stuff written on there as well. Just an all-around well-designed car. And if you're into these old AE86s, this is definitely a great one to collect. Pandem Subaru BRZ, the wide-body Pandem kit on this BRZ, car number four of five. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see all the graphics that we have included on this one. And you can see this one is a Falcon tire graphics on there. Not really a huge fan of the wheels. I would have liked to see those painted a little bit darker color, but you can definitely see the look of them in that kind of like lighter gray color. Great looking detail. You can see that wide body kit on there. You can even see how this, the spoiler is just slightly off center. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not, but definitely a neat look to it. And we can see in the back, it's all black. 
Great details for the stamping. This set is just so detailed. I really, really like the detail on this set. And then classic for the Falcon tires. You can see how it kind of blends into that darker color and it's got those like line slits on the top roof right there. But just a well, well designed car. Pandem BRZ. I really, really like this car. I think this is the second release of this one in a premium set. We did get one previously before. And car number 505, the 2020 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. Check out the color of those wheels on there. All right, let's go ahead, not wasting time, let's go ahead and open this one up and see what this one's all about. And how is this? Look at that. Wow, I really, really like this one. The design on this one is really cool. Looks like it's got a nice wide body kit on it. Look at the detail on the front end right there. Uh, fun haver. All right, this definitely is a car to have fun in. Number 25, you can see on the top right there. Just look at the color right there on the back that blends into the black. That looks really, really neat. And that spoiler color right there. Look at the details on the back end of this one. And then just the wheels. I just really, really like the colored wheels on here. These are, I think, the same wheels as our BRZ had. You can see they are the same wheels, I believe, but I think the color of these ones just looks excellent on this Mustang. The Ford logo right there on the side, Type S, I'm not sure, sure what that means, and then some sort of other sponsored graphics and stuff on there. But the RTR Mustang, wow, this one is great. And there we have all five cars included in this set. Let me know in the comments section down below if you have found this set yet and which car is your favorite. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're gonna open up and get a close-up look at the Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Hyper Haulers. This set includes five different trucks, including the 1999 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, Baja Bouncer, 2020 Jeep Gladiator, Ford Bronco R and 1975 Datsun Sunny truck. And we'll start it off with the 1999 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. This hot truck released back in the late 90s was so cool. Lots of people loved it. V8 supercharged, looks great. Let's go ahead and pop this premium car open right here. Car number one of five. And this one in a kind of like a weirdest champagne type color on it right here. Premium cars, so all of these will have the metal base as well as the real rider tires as you can see right down there but let's have a look at that color look at that gorgeous looking right there from the back we've got some nice details we've got the svt logo we've got the ford logo no license plates or anything but we do have painting on the rear tail lights from the side and you can see those big chrome wheels on here very classic for this era of cars and then on the front end we've got a nice classic looking f-150 grill with the big ford logo in the middle the nice lights right there fog lights down below overall just a great looking truck and super super nice to see it in this premium set and car number two of five we have the baja bouncer right here and i believe this one might be a toyota off-road truck but it's called the baja bouncer in this correct me if i'm wrong down below in the comments section guys car number two of five let's go ahead and open up the baja bouncer right here and this one, wow, this looks so cool. I really, really like the back with these two tires right there. That is super, super nice. These are just plastic though, molded. They're not the actual real riders that we have on the truck itself. And we can see that metal base with the real rider treaded tires on there. We've got some sort of writing on the side of it. Lucas oil, maybe I'm not too sure exactly what that says. We've got the white and we've got the blue and red striping on there. And just check out these little intakes right on the front end looks really cool and there is that big push bar with uh looks to be imitation lights on the front of it right there but just an, it's a great look it's a great side look to this truck i think from the uh three quarter look it looks really really cool as well we can see the big roll bar on the inside of that one as well and then we'll look at it from this side as well and top down just an overall great looking off-road truck and car number three of five we've got the 2020 jeep glass Gladiator, check out the color on this one. And we've got the Gladiator with some motorbikes in the back. Let's go ahead and open it up and we can get a nice look at this one right here. 
And look at this color on here. It looks so cool. It's even got some sparkle to it as well. And there are your dirt bikes that are in the back right there. That's really cool. It's a nice touch to that one. Big like wheel tire combination, big fat mud tires on here. We've even got some like slightly different colored doors on this one, which is a little bit unique. On the front end, there's your classic Jeep grill right there with the big lights on that. And then on the back end, we don't have much detail as far as the, the rear hatch goes. The rear hatch is actually in plastic because your motorbikes are sticking right on there but we do have painting for the rear lights on there as well but the side look of this one looks cool i really really like the color on this even look at the touch on the front right there on that front hood it even got all those little slots and stuff like that but overall looks great what do you guys think of this jeep gladiator car number four of five is the ford bronco r and this is the brand new ford bronco and i really Really, really like the look of the new Ford Broncos. I'm a huge fan of them. I love how they've come to the Hot Wheels, uh, the main lines, and now we're getting premium variations of them. This is the Bronco R, so this is like your crazy off-road Bronco. So you can see we've got that like rear uh, tire on there. And then just look at the top. I just noticed that. Look at the Bronco logo on the top. That is super, super cool. Really, really good detail on that. Love the paint on here. Look at the side of that. Doesn't that look awesome? Really, really like the look. 2069 on there. Big fat mutters on this one. Blacked out wheels on there. If we look at the front end, we can see we've got like a little bit of a push bar painted black. We've got a red pinstripe right there. And then check out the blue roll cage on the inside of this one. Even from the side, you can see that blue roll cage cage. This Ford Bronco R, I think it's the best car in this set. I think it looks great. Really, really cool trending car nowadays as well. What do you guys think of the new Ford Bronco? And car number five of five from our Hyper Hauler set is the 1975 Datsun Sunny Truck B120. And there it is. We've got it all lowered out and all that. It's kind of like a low rider truck from this set. Uh, probably the most street truck of all of them besides the Lightning. Most of the other ones were off-roading trucks, but let's go ahead and have a look at this Datsun right here. Look at those chrome wheel tire combination on there, the 120 on the side. I'm not sure, sure exactly what B120 means. If you guys know about these trucks in your life, let me know. It looks like we have something in the back. It's like a, it, it's, is it that like a spilled gas can in the back? Oh, that's kind of an interesting new thing. I've never seen that before, but check it out. Look at that. Look at that spilled gas can in the back right there. Datsun on the back of it. Datsun obviously being Nissan, they changed the company name, switched over to Nissan right there. But look at the wheels, love that. Look at the side, all the graphics, all that good stuff. We look at the front end right there. You can just see how that wide body look and that lowered look on it is. We can see even the flared flenders, fenders when we look on the side right there. But uh, I think it's kind of a cool looking truck. I'm, I mean, I've never been a fan of these like 1970s like pickup trucks or anything like that, but they've made made them look a lot more modern and I think this one looks pretty cool. And there we have all five of our trucks that we opened up today. Guys, in the comment section down below, let me know which one was your favorite. What's up, Peak Timers? Let's go ahead and open up a bunch of new Hot Wheels, including this Hot Wheels 10 pack, this mystery box, as well as 10 Hot Wheels singles. And we'll start it off with this Hot Wheels 10 pack. And the first one that we have is a Hot Wheels Racing Team stock car. Hot Wheels logo on the front as well as the number three on the top. Next, we have the 2017 Camaro ZL1. This one blue with the number 17 blacked out rims with the white walls on them. Really nice looking. Next, we've got a Plymouth Roadrunner muscle car. Cool looking stripes down the center as well as on the side. Hot Wheels Fantasy Car Maximum Leeway. Good looking Hot Wheels logo on the back right there. All the graphics on the side. This one looks like it's going fast. Dodge Charger. Your drift in a fire department livery on here. It's even got the lights on the top. Look at that one with a big wing on the back. A classic white Corvette Stingray with cool looking blue with the side striping right there. Nice staggered wheel look. I love the design of these classic Corvette Stingrays. A Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4, 
one of the coolest looking colors that I've seen released for this car, blacked out wheels to go with that nice stripe down the center. In Pavito 1, this Hot Wheels fantasy car looks super futuristic. Check out that window where you can see right through to the other side. One of my favorite cars of all time, the McLaren P1 gray wheels on this one, new color in this exclusive Hot Wheels 10 pack. Just check out those lights on the front too. One of the coolest, fastest cars ever made. 10 pack exclusive car, the 2007 Shelby GT500 Mustang. Check out the white and gray camo on the side, as well as that stripe that goes right down the center. Very nicely designed with a cool livery on it. Hot Wheel singles will start with the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. We've got a new color variation of this one. Check it out with the big Raptor logo on the side. Really nice looking back end with the Ford right there and as well as that Ford on the front end. Overall, a great looking truck. One of the longest named cars ever, the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. This one in white with blacked out wheels on there. Check this one out. We've even got the chrome lip on the wheels right there. Nice looking front headlights, the Porsche logo right there as well. And on the back end, we've got the Tampa Works for the light. Overall, a great design. 1994 Bugatti EB110 SS. SS stands for Super Sport. This is our first color variation and release of this car in blue. We will get another white one coming soon, but check out this blue color with those chrome 10 spoke wheels on there. Great design from the front end. Even that little Bugatti logo and the horseshoe grill. Overall, just one of the coolest early 90s supercars. 2020 Jeep Gladiator, this one in red. It's got the little motorbikes on the back of it. Check those ones out. Two little motorbikes matching as well as the raised suspension. Look at the wide body on this one and a great looking grill. Very, very cool looking Jeep. Nissan R390 GT1, a supercar from the mid 90s. That wasn't super popular, but being from Nissan, you don't see many exotics coming out of Japan. This this one was a really cool designed car and I would love to see this one in real life, but check it out in Hot Wheels format in this red color. Tesla Model 3 in blue. Fun fact, this is my car in real life. I bet you guys didn't know that, but here you go. We've got the Hot Wheels variation of it. And let's go ahead and open this one up. You can see the blue color, obviously. I love that blue color, the glass window on the top and our front design with the Tesla logo as well as the lights on the back. Very, very well done. Those chrome wheels, maybe not for me, I prefer black, but still look really, really nice. McLaren Speedtail, the original release of this car. Absolutely love this car in real life. The center driving position of this one. Check it out. Even the different wheel tire combination in the front and back. Glass all on the top and even look at that line right there just to signi signify the speed that this Speedtail from McLaren is. Another fun fact that I bet most of you guys already know, the McLaren F1 is my favorite car of all time and I love the fact that we've got the road car variation now in a Hot Wheels format. You can see it in the original silver color, which is the launch color of this car. And also we will be getting some new color variations of this one in Hot Wheels. Check out those lights on the front end right there. Look excellent. Great design on the back end as well. They've done an excellent job of this McLaren F1. Big Air, Bel Air, one of the coolest cars that they've done after a Bel Air in real life. This one's all raised up suspension. It's all done for an off-road. You can even see the mudded out tires on this one. Very, very cool detail with those light bars on the top, the push bar on the front end. I love all the color variations they're releasing of the Big Air Bel Air. 67 Camaro, this one in white. It's got some writing on the side of it. I'm not really sure what the significance is. You can see it says worldwide with a bunch of like arrows and stuff on the side. I really don't know what it means. If you guys know, comment in the comment section down below. We do have the DC logo, which I do recognize, but overall the Camaros from the 60s were very, very nice looking. Hot Wheels rewards cars mystery box. We've got 10 Hot Wheels in here as well as a bunch of stickers. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see all the cool Hot Wheels that are included inside. We'll start it off with our first one right here. We'll go ahead and pop this one open and see what we have. We do get stickers included with all of these cars. And let's see which car this one is right here. This one is the Track Ripper. I loved when this car came out originally. Very, very cool matte finish color on this one with the gray wheels. Our next one that we have right here, let's go ahead and see what we've got right here. We've got 
On the bottom, I will read it out. The Carbonic. Check it out. The Carbonic. Again, all of these come with the gold stickers right here. But look at the Carbonic with those wheels right there. A really, really cool design. Another matte finished car. I wonder if it's a trend for the cars that are included in here. We'll grab another one right here. We'll open this one up and see what this one is. More stickers. We'll put that on the side. This one is Mox Speeder. I mean, we knew that. Look at Mox Speeder. Love this fantasy car. This one does have some gloss on it. It's an exclusive color as well. We've got red trim, red spoiler, black, and then the silver striping on it. So that's a really, really cool color variation. I have not seen that one before. Let's go ahead and grab another one right here. And we'll open this one up. And we've got another one of our stickers right here. And this one is the Project Speeder. Project Speeder, really, really cool glossy color on this one right here. Almost looks like some paint defects, but I think that's actually supposed to be like that to give it more of a rustic look. You can see it kind of shine on the top right there. We've got the big engine in chrome on there. And then just check out that front end. Very raw looking car. We'll put that aside and we'll see what our next one in package right here is. We'll go ahead and pop that one out. And this one, I'm not too sure what this one is uh i can't really see it on the back right here i can't remember the exact name of it but if you guys comment down below i'll like your comment if you know which one this is i like the gold wheels on there very very neat all right we'll go ahead and throw that aside our next one that we have right here We'll open that one up. Another really cool, interesting sticker, as well as the car we have, Grupo X24. Grupo X24, look at this one right here. Plastic bodied, by the way, but it feels pretty, pretty good quality. We got the blacked out wheels on there. Big diffuser on this one. That is absolutely crazy. All right, we'll throw him aside. We've got another one right here. And let's see what we have in this one. We've got more stickers in here. We'll throw those aside. This one looks like some sort of racing car right here. We'll see what it says on the bottom. It doesn't say the specific name of the car. CFLO2. If we look that code up, that will actually tell you the name of the car. Fun fact on that one. But if you guys comment down below this one as well, we'll like your comment on that one as well. We'll throw ahead, put it aside right there. Our next one that we have. We'll go ahead and open him up. We've got another race car as well. What race car is this one? I like that one. This one looks like a fast formula or some sort. This one does not say on the back either, but again, comment down below if you guys know what this one is. Wow, I like the eight on there. I like the black. Ooh, the Hot Wheels logo is also a really cool color as well. That's an interesting car. All right, our last car that we're opening up today. Let's see what it is. What do you guys think it's gonna be? What do you guys think it's gonna be? We've got another fantasy car. What is this one? We've got the Monta Race right here check out mod tracer that's a really cool color check out all the slots and stuff on this one single seat solo car and i don't know if these are exhaust or something on the back that is quite interesting inside of the box we had one more car hiding in there this one just didn't want to get opened up but hey we're doing it anyways let's go ahead and open our last one up and see what this is we've got oh is this the driftinator what is this one right here uh maximum leeway maximum leeway. my bad i thought it was a driftinator but we've got maximum Maximum leeway right here. I mean, you were a little bit scared, Maximum leeway. I don't know why I didn't want to come out of the box, but you are out of the box. And look at you all loose right there. Number five on the side of it. Very, very cool. With all of the cool Hot Wheels cars that we opened up today, let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up six brand new Hot Wheels five packs. And we'll start it off with the brand new Night Burners five pack. We've got five really cool looking cars inside of here graphics on the side some information on the back of the vehicles included and Nightburner's name on this side let's go ahead and pop it on open maybe i'll use my exacto knife to open up the cars today and let's hope i don't cut myself be really really careful here and that didn't get it open let's get it open this way here here we go there we go all right we might have to resort to just ripping them open afterwards here. There we go. We'll just open it up right here. And we'll grab our first car right up top. And this one is the Corvette Gas Monkey Garage. Very cool looking. We've got this like matte gray color to it, which is really, really interesting. So you can see that matte gray finish to it, but it's a 68 Corvette. We saw this one originally come in green. That's the actual Gas Monkey Garage color, but I really like this matte gray finish to it. We got some black graphics on the side with the 68 chrome engine, chrome interior. Very, very cool. And our next one that we have included in here, We've got the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1500. Check that one out. Check out this color. 
this color it's almost like a tealish blue color really really like that gold wheels on there and then we have the lights right there with like kind of the clearish plastic kind of sticks out right there which is kind of unique you don't really see that too often where they put that separate plastic piece in there it's like actually stuck on i don't know if it's like glued on or pushed in or something like that but very very interesting design not much as far as tempo work or anything goes on the back like that but we do have that nice wide body design for this ford escort we'll go ahead and put him aside and then we've got the datsun 510 wagon very very popular car a lot of people like all the color variations of this one and this one's kind of like a matte tan finish to it it is a matte matte finish paint job on there we got the re really off center striping down there and then we got some sort of graphics on the front some sort of uh probably japanese writing of some sort i don't know exactly what it says if you guys know what it says in japanese you let me know and then we got uh cool looking like what is that it's kind of like a lightning strike but it's in a different color on the side black that wheels gold trim on there pretty plain on the back and on our front end we don't have much as far as stamping but it's a really really good designed car and we'll go on to our next one right here dodge viper srt10 acr uh there we go we got the dodge viper srt and acr we got the cool looking green big spoiler on there we got look at the graphics on the side of that that is really neat very interesting and is that a little little viper logo no it's not a viper logo it's some sort of other logo on there i can't really see exactly what that says on there gray wheels on there staggered so we got bigger ones on the rear compared to the front and we've got a very nice looking aggressive front end no no like no stamping or anything like that on the top nothing as far as the front headlights go it's just basically all saved for the side. Actually, the back does have a little bit of stamping for the rear lights right there, is it? No, nah, maybe not. Maybe it is a little bit, but Dodge Viper, really, really like it. We'll add it to our collection. We'll put that aside. And the last one that we have for this Nightburners five pack, we've got the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. We've seen lots of different color variations of this one. I really like the big tail on this one. I like these, these old Porsches that have the big like turbo tails on there they look really really cool and then it's of course it's a really big wide body on there as well you can see that wide body look to it and this is like a interesting color i don't know if it's like a candy apple reddish color to it almost I, like i don't even know what to say what the color is i'm, I'm colorblind maybe i don't know you guys tell me what color this car looks to you what does it look like in my nice shiny lights right there we got 934 on the front end but it's an interesting car. I do like this one. And our second five pack that we're opening up today, we've got the HW Zombies five pack. Zombie themed cars inside of here. I mean, Halloween is coming up here, so I guess that's pretty cool. We've got uh, HW Zombies. We've got the zombie guy on the side right there. Some graphics and all that good stuff on the back. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We'll try and open this one up nice and clean right there all right let's see if we got it this time did we get it no we didn't i'm just gonna fail at opening up these packages with my exacto knife we might have to just go back to the whole ripping of the packages open it seems to work quite better here all right we'll put the cars aside right here we'll grab our first one up here and this one looks to be the chevy blazer 4x4 there it is we got some interesting graphics and stuff right there on the side what is this rescue so i guess it's the zombie rescue machine big raised up suspension black tires with the white uh trim on the wheels right there blacked out wheels and we can see on the side right here chevrolet we got all the zombie gear the zombie fighting gear on the top right there rescue machine from the side of it but uh very interesting i like these raised up hot wheels cars and our next one that we have included in this one is cruise bruiser there is cruise bruiser it definitely look, looks like a zombie we got the the zombie on the side of it as well check it out crazy looking zombie on the side of it big chrome front engine on there chrome interior on there this looks like a demolition derby car if you guys ever watched demolition derby this definitely is a demolition derby car that is for sure good for a zombie mobile as well but there it is cruise bruiser and our next one that we have right here in the packaging get out of here it's stuck in the packaging there we go we've got the 2015 ford f1 50 right there nice glossy black color and then it's got like i don't know is this like a zombie fighting machine this looks like a zombie camera car of some sort crazy looking colored wheels on there big chrome grill on there this is going to scare the zombies away look just look at that gloss black paint job just shimmer in the light right there big sunroof on the top of it big nice open bed as well and on the back right there nice and clean look for this ford f-150 and our next car that we have included in here 
we've got the Sting Rod 2. Sting Rod 2. This is definitely a zombie fighting machine. Just look at this one. Look at the like the bombs that it just throws right there. Some sort of missiles or something like that. I don't know, that's crazy. Uh, it's kind of an interesting matte finish paint job to this one and then different colored like uh, like the windows on there, which is pretty crazy. Look at the wheel tire combination on there as well. Holy, that is insane. So there we go. Crazy, crazy looking zombie fighting machine, the Stingrod 2. And our next one that we have tombs up car number 505 from here tombs up this just looks like a zombie just completely took over a car it's like a zombie got inside of this car and just just made it crazy i mean tombs up is it like like the zombie has taken away like a human and turned it into a car or taken a car and turned it into a zombie i don't know crazy crazy craziness for the tomb up and our Hot Wheels five pack number three, we have the Speed Blur five pack. Some interesting colors to these cars inside of here. Different Speed Blur graphics on the back right there. Speed Blur on the side with a car racing. Let's go ahead and pop this whistle open. So let's actually, you know what? Let's just do this the old school way. We're just gonna rip it right open like a speed machine right here. We're gonna just crazily rip it open. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of failing at this, kind of failing at this. All right, so we'll use the, the, the X-Acto knife for the rest of it here. There we go. All right, we X-Acto knife the bottom of it. All cars are safe. No cars were damaged in the opening of that packaging here. We've got our first car up right here, and it is the 2013 Ford Mustang GT. And this is an interesting one. It's a, it's a fully, like, it feels like a fully plastic body on here. I could be mistaken. Maybe it's just the matte finish paint job on there, but it does, uh, no, maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I think it is a metal one right here, but it's that that matte finish paint job that makes it feel slightly plasticky on here. Uh, gray wheels, black or no, sorry, gray tires with the black wheels. There's your speed blur graphics on the back of it, just going right through. We got the parachute on the back, that nice spoiler on there for this one right here. HW graphics, it says, with the Hot Wheels logo on that side. So it's actually different on this side compared to this side. So that's really cool. I really do like that. We've got the circle on this side, no circle on this side. It just says HW graphics right there. And look at the engine on this. Holy moly, look at that V8 in there, all the cylinders up there, chromed out. Very, very cool, I like this one. That's an interesting find to this case here. And our next one that we have, the 1967 Jeepster Commando. There is our 67 Jeepster Commando right there. Look at the graphics on the side of this one right here. We got the gray wheels on here. There's that motorbike tacked on to the back of it as well. And then the white bed, white motorbike, white interior on this one as well. Chrome on the front right there. Check out all that chrome for that. Uh, I guess this would be like a winch or something on the front right there. White wheels as well which is different. And then look at the chrome on the bottom of this Jeepster Commando. Really, really different color to this one. Very, very interesting color for this Jeepster Commando. And our next one that we have included right here, the 2012 Ford Fiesta. Check the Fiesta out. This reminds me of the Cam Block videos on YouTube where he's driving around in this Fiesta just going absolutely crazy, just vroom, 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 all the way sideways on there. I like this color of this one. This color is becoming a very trendy color. It's kind of like grayish uh, color with like a blue hue to it, almost like a very, very uh, like mute blue hue to it. So it's interesting color, I like that. Graphics on the side of it, there we go. The number 12 on there for the 2012. Just check out the back end, that is just crazy. That wide body on that one just looks insane. And then we have from the side, very nice looking wheels. We'll put the Fiesta aside and we'll grab our next one in here. We have the Dune Crusher. Oh my gosh, this one just looks like it's just jumping right through. It's crushing over, jumping over the dunes. It just looks like it's jumping. It just looks like it's in the air. This car should just be just like this all the time. I, I really wonder if this one glows in the dark. It looks like it's like that type of glow in the dark material. And I don't know, we'll have to test after the video right here. And there we go. We look on the side of it. Very, very nice. Look at that. It even looks like it's got like snow in the tires of it. It's definitely like a snow off-roader truck. All right, we'll put him aside. 
And our last run from the Speed Blur package, we've got Maximum Leeway. Wow, this looks like a zebra on the side of it. Just check out the colors on that, the white wheels on there. From the top, oh my gosh, that's like zebra-ish on the top. Look, looks like a, a water drop, it went boop, and then it just zebraed all the way out on this one. <laughs> just check that out. I don't even know what this thing is right here. I don't know what that little thing is supposed to be there. It's like maybe a part of the engine of some sort. Got a little roll cage on the inside, all chrome on there as well. And there's that big spoiler in the back. This body is definitely a plastic body to it. So that that is for sure. This is a plastic one, but interesting for our speed blur, the maximum leeway. Toxic Creatures 5 pack. This one with a lot of really crazy looking cars inside of it. We have some information on the back, all sorts, some sort of like big city with all the toxic creatures inside. And it says city toxic creatures on the side of it as well. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Hopefully we can get this one open up successfully here. We'll do, we'll do the, we'll do the half and half here, or, or maybe like two thirds type of thing here where we cut it open just like that with our X-Acto knife. We're very careful with that. We'll pull out the cars right here and we'll start from our first one on the top and we've got the Dune Daddy. Check out the Dune Daddy on here. Look at that jumping through everything. It's got the mudded out tires on there. Weird top. I don't know what this is, if it's supposed to be a spare tire of some sort. And then on the back, we've got the double exhaust on there. These wheel tire combination look kind of dirty, kind of meant to be like it's a dune buggy. We'll put the dune daddy aside and we'll grab our next one in here. This one is a crazy one right here. We've got the Fangster. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Look at that. Like actually, I kind of wish it had like the mouth open on there, but it's almost like the fangs are like part of the exhaust that comes out the front. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. We got the big engine on the side of it cool looking wheels on there and then on the back what is this this is like some sort of just weird big metal piece like i guess that's supposed to be like that i'm not really sure what the point of it is i guess it is to secure the tail that kind of comes around right there for this one called the fangster very crazy looking design we'll put the fangster aside we'll grab our next car from here we've got the hollow back there it is. Hollowback looks kind of like a kind of like a charger of some sort. Or no, 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 like a challenger. It looks like a challenger, like a modern challenger. But then you look at the front end. What is going on with that? That is crazy. Oh my gosh, like what is this thing that like part of the body that comes across with the engine cylinders just sticking out from the side? All oh, lots of chrome on the interior. And what is this? Like an engine in the back, too? Is it? I don't know. There's this like some sort of fan. I don't think that's a spare wheel. That's like some sort of fan. So it's got like a, a double engine on here. Hollow back. Wow. Okay. This is a crazy looking fantasy car. The hollow back. We'll put him aside right there. And we'll grab our next one. The off duty. Look at the off duty. So we've got the HWFD. So the Hot Wheels fire department. I mean, for all these, these toxic creatures, you do need some toxic control. So we, we have the the fire truck that's going to help out with that one. And this one looks like it has no problem getting through all those toxic creatures right there. We look from the back end, very clean, nice big rugged tires on this one. Chrome on like the side, but then it's black on the base right there. But not bad. I like this one. Just looks like a really tough truck. Very, very cool. All right, we'll put the off duty aside. And we've got our last one. We've got another rescue car. It is the Rapid Response. Rapid response, and this one, I guess it's gonna go take all the people that got poisoned from all the toxic and help them out, or or not, not yeah, maybe it's the toxic creatures, the creatures that that actually bit them. So maybe it got, it got this one got bit by Fangster, Fangster. So Fangster, someone got bit by Fangster, and then we've got the rapid response coming in and helping rapid response. I know I'm just making stuff up now. I'm just making stuff up. Gold wheels on there, but there we go. We got the rapid response. And our next Hot Wheels five pack, we've got the Lamborghini five pack. One of my favorites that we're opening up today. Some great looking Lamborghinis inside of this five pack. So let's go ahead and we'll just, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll cut this one this time. We'll cut this one fully. We'll do it a little bit differently for all of them. We'll cut them. We're not gonna cut any Lamborghinis. No Lamborghinis hurt in the opening of this package right here. We'll pull it out. We've got our first one right here, the Lamborghini Veneno. Check out the color of this one right here. Just shining. It's got like that metallic flake in the paint job right there. All the slots and design. I just really, really like the Veneno. I think it's one of the most exotic looking Lamborghinis ever made. I like it better than the Centenario as well. Some might argue with me, but 
I think the Veneno is just way more exotic and cool looking. Just look at that from the front end right there. Just absolutely craziness. I cannot believe this one. Love the blacked out wheels and we'll put the Veneno aside. We'll grab our next one right here. The Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. And actually, I'll just double check. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. Just to confirm the exact name. This blue is fantastic. Love it. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Absolutely love the blue on here. We've got these uh, nice colored wheels on there as well. Look at that. Just a nice contrast with the blue. And I love the front end of this one. All the, the tampa work on there. Even on the top, that little painted top right there as well. Big spoiler on here. Big rear diffuser on here. Just a really, really good looking Lamborghini. Absolutely love it. We'll put that one aside. And one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. One of my favorite castings of all time. I actually prefer the yellow speed machines variation as opposed to this one, but this is the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. And uh, they stopped making this casting for a while and then they brought it back. Now we've got it in this five pack. I'm hoping it comes back to the main lines as well. We get some more color variations in the main lines, but I love it. I love the spoiler on here. I love the design of that front diffuser on there. I love the, the side, the SV logo right there. The nice blacked out wheels with the colored lip and just check out that back. Wow, absolutely amazing. Love the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Like I said, it's one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings of all time. Just an excellent, excellent designs car. Looks so exotic looking. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, and our next one we have the Lamborghini Aventador J. And we've got this one in a nice matte white finish. We've got the striping on the front right there. Just a, a little dual stripe right there. The Lamborghini logo right on the front end. Nice looking aggressive headlight design on this one as well. From the side, you can see, look at those gray wheels. Looks excellent. And then look at from the back, a nice clean look on there. Only one Lamborghini Aventador J's were ever made in real life. So it's very, very rare, but we've got lots of different color variations of it made for the Hot Wheels lineup. And this one in our Hot Wheels Lamborghini five pack, we'll put it aside. And our final car from the Lamborghini five pack we've got the lamborghini gallardo super legera i think it's the lp 570-4 i wonder if it says on the bottom right here yep lp 570-4 super legera i got it right we've got the orange one chrome wheels on there super legera little logo just right on the side right there on the front end you can see it's a different front end for the super legera and then it's got that little spoiler just on the back right there Helps with the aerodynamics of this one. Just an excellent designs car. I mean, really, is there any badly designed Lamborghinis? There is not. Lamborghini makes some great, great looking vehicles and they are fantastic. Loving to see them in the Hot Wheels lineup. And our last five pack that we're opening up today, we've got the Rocket League five pack, as you can see right here. We've got some special cars in here, some classic Hot Wheels in there as well. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's open this one up with no exacto knife, our final one. Let's see if we can finally do it right here. Wow, it's giving, it's giving us a hard time. It's giving us a hard time. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Open up right there. All right, there we go. We've got it, we've got it. Completely ripped, completely wrecked packaging right here. Cars are dropping out of it, but we'll pull it out. All right, there we go, we've got it. All right, let's take our first car right here that dropped out right here, we've got the twin mill three check it out twin mill three third variation of the twin mill i like it i like it it's an interesting design to it look at the slots it looks a lot more aerodynamic a lot more modern looking huge wheels on the back smaller ones in the front and of course there is your twin mill awesome love it love it love it and this one is obviously got the rocket league logo on there like most of these cars right there so there it is your Rocket League logo for your Rocket League five pack right here. And we'll grab, we'll go to the top now for the next one right here. For this one, we've got the Gazella GT. This one in like a nice kind of, I don't know what this is. It's almost like a satin finish paint job right there. We got the blue windows on there. White wheels with the black inserts. Rocket League right on the side of it, as you can see. Very, very nice right there from the back. Kind of looks like a Jaguar type car from the back end right there, but looks very, very good. Very aerodynamic, very fast for Rocket League. We'll put that one aside and we'll grab our next one right here. We've got 
The MR11 or MR11, I'm not sure the exact pronunciations of it on how you say it, but this one, it's very unique because look at it. It's got like soccer balls right there to give it the aerodynamics. That is crazy. Like you see the one, two, three, four soccer balls. And then we've got the Rocket League logo right there. And this one just looks like a fast one. That's actually a cool looking car. I would like to see this one come out. The front end, maybe not so much. It's kind of a little bit ugly from the front end, but from the side, it looks like a like a nice sports car. Very cool looking aerodynamics from the back. Look at the four exhaust tips on this one as well. Very, very nice. Awesome. We'll put that one aside and we'll grab our next one right here. We've got the Fast 4WD or fast four wheel drive right there. This almost looks like a like a similar, like a fantasy fiesta car, maybe a little bit more aggressive with that big spoiler on the back right there. Check like, why do you need four stands for this spoiler? That is crazy. And then from the side, we got the little Rocket League logo right there. And then from the front end, this one looks like it, it can just like super zoom around and super turn, I guess like, like a Ken Block version of the Fiesta. There we go. All right, look at the front end right there. Crazy looking car. Awesome, we'll put him aside. And then our very last car that we're looking at today, how awesome and amazing is it that our last car is the very, very classic Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, the Rocket League edition. So you can see the Rocket League logo just on the side right there. The big exhaust coming out, the blacked out wheels with colored lip on there, chrome interior, lots of chrome all around, the chrome gas tank on the back right there, the chrome engine, of course, the Bone Shaker with the classic skull on the front end. The Bone Shaker, one of the best Hot Wheels ever made for a fantasy car. Love it, love it, love it. And there is all of your Hot Wheels five pack that we opened up today, guys. Make sure you leave a comment down below which one was your favorite. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up and review the Forza Motorsports five car set. This set includes five different Hot Wheels cars, including the 2015 Land Rover Defender Double Cab, 2017 Acura NSX, 2017 Audi RS6 Avant, Ford Shelby GT350, and Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. And the first one from the set that we're opening up today is the Land Rover Defender Double Cab. You can see the graphics on all of these cards look really, really cool. Let's go ahead and open these ones up. And what I really like about this set is all of the paint job on these are all like a matte finish. And it is also like a camo type that they have on a lot of these cars. So really, really neat. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this Land Rover Defender Double Cab. I've been a big fan of this casting, so it's nice to see it in all the different colors. You can see it's got nice and blacked out front end bumper right there, the gray wheels on it. If we look from the top, you can see, look at the graphics and all that cool stuff on there. Back is all just all white, just like that. And we do have the little exhaust that comes up, but you can see just how cool the graphics look. And then we also do have the Forza Motorsports logo with the Hot Wheels logo just right at the top of there. Also, the little Xbox logo you can see right there. So obviously Forza being an Xbox game. So there is our first car. And car number two of five is the 2017 Acura NSX. You can see again, the cool looking graphics on there. Let's go ahead and open up this NSX and see what it's all about. So the same, we've got that matte finish white paint job on there. And then we've got a few different graphics on the side of this one. We've got a mixture of black and red. It does say NSX on there. We got the Xbox logo right there. And we got the Forza Motorsports with Hot Wheel logo. You can see just right on that door right there. On the top, it looks like we've got like a faux carbon fiber roof line. Then we got the Forza Motorsports logo on the front as well. And not too much as far as detail goes for the front headlights or anything like that. It's pretty plain on that. Same with the back end. You can see there's no stamping or anything like that. But these wheels look a bit tiny for the car. They could be a little bit bigger, but overall, the NSX is still a nice looking car. And car number three of five from the Forza Motorsports set, we have the 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. You can see this one, it's a fast wagon, great looking graphics again on the card. And let's go ahead and see what this one's all about right here. This one's got a nice clean line on the top. You can see right there, just very clean from over top. You don't really see any of the graphics or anything when you look at it from above right there. We've got uh, the nice front grille. Those headlights are a little bit disappointing. They're all just kind of blank on there. Would have liked to see some stamping on there, but they save all the stamping for the side because look at that. Forza Motorsports Hot Wheel from the side. You can see great looking graphics from the side. I love these wheels on here. The blacked out wheels with the chrome lip look excellent. And we actually got some really good stamping on the back. Those rear lights, we got the little Audi logo 
HW Forza, Hot Wheels Forza for the license plate. The little Audi RS6 logo right there as well. So kind of cool. I mean, it's interesting that we don't have any front headlights. We got the nice front grille. Great looking from the rear. I, I wish if we just if we just had those front headlights, I think that would perfectly cap off this Audi RS6 Avant, but still overall a fantastic looking car. And for the Mustang fans, we've got the Ford Shelby GT350. Look at this Mustang looking good. All right, let's go ahead and pop it open and see it up close right here. And you can see all the graphics on the side. Again, we got the big Forza logo on the rear door. These wheels look great. They look really, really good with this Mustang. And I like the color of this, kind of like a bluish like we got a darker blue, lighter blue mixture. We got the nice big stripe that goes down the center of it right there. And look at the logo on the front. Look at that. Look at the graphics, how they come off. No headlights again, kind of disappointing. It's kind of a, a thing with the, all these castings here. We don't have much for the, the front headlights detail, but that's okay. Even the back on this one, not much detail for any of the back. I like the lip spoiler though. Looks really good for this Mustang. You can see it from that nice side view overall. Not too bad, could have used, again, just the, the stamping on the front and rear headlights. But again, these are more of a mainlines type series, so they're a little bit cheaper than like the premium cars and stuff like that, so understandable. And car number five of five from this set, we've got the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. There it is. Got nice looking wheels on here. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here. We can see what this one's all about again. The same matte white paint job, very clean looking. The Turbo RSR though, we got that nice classic RSR spoiler on there. You can see that, I guess they kind of called it like a whale tail, that's kind of what they called the spoiler back in the day there. These gray wheels, I mean, they look good. They look period correct for this Porsche, so looking good. Ah, uh, again, no stamping for the headlights. It, it's almost uh, slightly disappointing, but I mean, if you look at these, all these cars from the side, Great looking graphics, 934 Forza logo right there. A little bit of black on the front right there. Look at the black striping on the, uh, down kind of on the side right there on the hood. The Xbox logo, there it is. A little, even the little Porsche logo right at the front right there as well. So not bad at all. Look at it from that side as well. Great, great design car. Again, just could use a little bit more lights, but I mean, this is a set you're gonna just display from the side. If you look at all these cars from the side, they look great. So fantastic looking Porsche as well in the comment section down below guys let me know which is your favorite car from this set if i had to pick just one i gotta go with this land rover defender double cab i think it looks really really good what's up peak timers phil here from peak time racing in this video we're going to open up and review the fast and furious fast stars premium five car set the five cars included in this set are the mitsubishi eclipse 92 ford mustang jeep grand cherokee trackhawk Dodge Charger, and W Motors Lycan Hypersport. And the first car that will open up from the Fast and Furious Fast Stars set is the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And this is, of course, Brian O'Connor or Paul Walker's Mitsubishi Eclipse from the starting scene of the very first Fast and Furious movie. Let's go ahead and open it up, get a nice close up look at this gorgeous Mitsubishi Eclipse right here. Premium cars, so obviously all of the cars that we are gonna see today will have the real riders on here, as you can see right in the bottom right there. A nice looking green with the gray wheels on there with the spokes on them. We look at the front we can see the carbon fiber hood very very glossy nice looking carbon fiber hood good details on the front end right there we've got that very very classic paint job on the side of it and as well as that continues right on the top right there we've got a big spoiler on the back of it as well very very nice looking and if we look right here on the rear we can see all the details for the lights and all of that we've got the exhaust down there as well but just an overall just a very very cool looking car it's just one of the best fast and furious cars it's such a classic now Obviously this one did explode or caught in fire on the very first starting scene of Fast and Furious, but such a great, great looking car. And car number two of five is the 92 Ford Mustang. And this one is the fastback edition of the Mustang right here. You can see just that big cowl hood on the front of it. Let's go ahead and open it up. This one will have some big rear slicks on it as well. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Very, very nice looking from the start right here. And you can see just how big those rear tires are. There's those big uh, thick slicks on there for drag racing and we got like the little thinner ones on the front right there 
We do have the dual exhaust on the back of it as well. Good details for those back rear lights. And there is that kind of fast back design. I like this, this blue color. It's almost like a tealish blue color. We do have the 5.0 right there on the side. Very classic for this model year of Mustangs. And there is that front end of the Mustang. Very, very cool. Just check out that big cow hood on there. Looks absolutely amazing. I love the like matte finish that they have right here. So you can see that very, very nicely. And then the black interior on this one, but a great looking Mustang from this Fast Stars, Fast and Furious set. And car number three of five is the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. So this one is with the big supercharged V8 in there. And you can see the aggressive stance of this one. Great looking wheels on that picture. And let's go ahead and open it and see see what this one looks like right here. And wow, that is such a cool looking car. So I haven't seen just like a main, I don't know if we got a mainline edition of a Grand Cherokee before, but it looks very, very cool. I love the wheels. I think the wheels on this one just make it look so much better. Just oh, I love the blacked out wheels on there. Great looking front end, great looking details of this Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. You can see right there. Doesn't have tinted windows on there. Would have liked to see tinted windows on the back. We got the nice big sunroof on there, the moonroof right there. We got great details on the rear end. Look at that quad exhaust hips as well. Real riders, of course, as we do with all of these cars right here. But overall, just a very, very nice, aggressive looking Jeep, the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And car number four of five is the Dodge Charger. And this one is completely matte finished out. Really, really like that matte finish paint job. Let's go ahead and open this one and see what it's all about right here. Check it out. Very, very aggressive stance on this one. Big rear tires on there. You can see like how the indentation of these wheels, you just know these are just giant wheels. It's a resto mod car, which is what they call it. So it'd be like a customized uh, old muscle car or hot rod. We got the chrome interior on there. And then if we look in the back right there, we've got, looks like we've got the engine in the back as well. Very, very cool. We've got the RT badging on the back right there. And just that nice stripe that comes down. And this is a very, very cool matte finish paint job on there. So it feels really, really nice. Very heavy looking car or very heavy feeling car, I should say. And we can see the lights on the back of it. Great details for those lights. And then on the front end, we've got that big chrome grill on the front end. For this Dodge Charger, just a classic car. We've seen lots of different Dodge Chargers in Fast and Furious movies. Obviously the first one, Dom's Charger, was one of the most popular ones. And I think this one, I'm, I'm not, I think it was the fourth movie or so that one like this came out in, but just a very, very nice looking car. And car number five of five is the W Motors Lycan Hypersport. This one was a very popular car in the later Fast and Furious movies and just check it out. Check out that very, very rare in real life. I think it's they only made like seven of these in real life. Um, made in Dubai, very, very popular cars over there, but uh, just super, super rare and expensive. And this one, I mean, this is the supercar of the set. We had an import, we had some muscle. Now we've got the supercar, I guess you'd call it a hypercar maybe, like in hyper sports. But there it is in red, very, very nice red, very glossy, it's got that shine to it. Just all the aggressive cuts and slots to this car just make it look very, very cool. I mean, you, it looks like Spider-Man's car. You can see like, look at the back right there. Just look at all the angles of this car, even if we look on the rear end. So many different angles of this car. Blacked out wheels look excellent on it as well. And just a very, very cool headlight design. You can see that. Just look at it from that angle. Doesn't that look awesome? Like in Hypersport, we do have the real riders on there, of course, with all of these cars right here, but just an absolutely amazing looking hyper car. One of the coolest cars in the Fast and Furious movies. And that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. What an amazing five car premium set. In the comment section down below, let me know which one of these cars was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and follow, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.